Good num num morning. <clears throat> We're back with session two of Sonic Frontiers. Last time we managed to get a lot of the f um, done to be fair. We got the whole first island done and started our lengthy exploration of the second, just wrapping it with beating two seven. We have no idea where was we've done like was this two five, so I don't know where two three is. We need to go talk to Knuckles again, but it's probably over there. So we're just going to kind of continue what we were doing, which is running around, exploring, seeing what we stumble into. And only really proceed with the plot when there's nothing else really on my mind. <laughs> is there any worth to doing that? Oh. Nice. Where's this put us? Oh god. Too wide. Way too wide still. Nice. So there's a that's a hermit one back and we must have run past him actually looking at where it is on the map now just head to this one see what we stumble up into along the way hang on I have to remember what buttons what again Oh, now I'm leaning back more towards the mainland and I want to go over there. Whee! Oh, jeez. <laughs> ah, okay, but that's the next one I'm aiming for. We really learned last time that I actually you need a monumental amount of the of these keys. I thought I had more than enough. It was like no, we were way behind. It was like you need like another fifty to even stand a remote chance. Okay, we're good. Oh, what's happening? Oh, what's this? I just got a trophy. Oh, does this game have like blood moons? <laughs> well, we got to unlock the map. This this took priority. God, this map's huge. I know he's there before, but this is huge, huge. Oh, I get it. You pick these up to spin the thing. I feel like there was a tutorial that was supposed to show but didn't but got interrupted. That probably better explains it. Well, I imagine it's just things have respawned. And they might be a bit tougher. Yeah, shit respawns. So the mini bosses are back. So if you want to rematch mini bosses, you can. During the Celestial Reign. But otherwise, you're collecting these to spin this to try and get what looks, I'm guessing is just more purple coins. Actually, no, they've got Cocos. In. In it. There's a um, good chance. Um, you can get free cocos to boost those stats as well. Oh, 
Oh, tricky unlock, tricky tranquility. Is that for getting? A, is that for getting a good result? Is there a way to turn that off, though? The um, hang on. Upgrade combo skill, speedometer, central cursor, blur effect. Okay, there isn't. Okay, so you just gotta live with that being there. But I'd much rather it. And I guess it's just something for the future if they do more. Or if this game gets patches, because we, we keep on. I keep on saying, oh, if we get more of these styles. When in reality, some of these things, they could easily just be a patch different. If they made it that this spins in the background more instead. And what I mean is, um, you don't see it, but if you actually hit a result, then it'll quickly pop up saying, hey, you got this, by the way. <sighs> anyway, where am I going? Oh no, we know we're being like targeted by everything right now. Ow. Where am I heading? Uh, I kind of want to go actually towards the map thing we was aiming for. I got distracted by this, um, not blood loop. It's a celestial event or whatever. It's kind of hard to spot my um, cursor, my like pin mark, because of all these things. I can do this one as well, since so many over here. Lasts for the rest of the night. Okay, that's. If it's that short, then I don't actually mind the slot machine. I thought maybe a nice quality of life option to make it that you don't have to have it, but yeah, if it's that short, then it doesn't really bother me. But that's cool, that's even a thing. What do we got here? Oh, catch, just catch the ball, got it. Ooh. Oh, these do stay respawned. Interesting. What's this thing? Actually, this makes out our rings before we do that. Tank! Whoa! <laughs> oh, what? This is cool.
and then back up we go. We've got to wait for it to slow down. Whoa, okay. That is a cool, the, I got beat up, so it took me a second to realize how it worked, but that is actually super fun. Hang on, let me just stack up the rings. Well, it took me a second, but once I had it, we were in. to talk. 2-6 is over there. There's another optional Knuckles. Yeah, the ones in colour is plot. The ones that aren't are um, oh, optional side events. Oh, does that mean yeah, the shark and those towers have respawned as well? Oh, great. Free <laughs> speed, please. The only thing that matters. The ring cap really doesn't, it feels like. I'm still cozy at 400. I know it's literally just health. Alright, let's see what this one is, since we're clearly never going to be doing them in order at this rate. Less generations levels, by the way, game. We did, we got so many of them. We got like one Adventure 2 level. I want a new Adventure 2 level. Or Adventure 1 level, even. Like, give me, um... Uh, give me, like, Speed Highway. That'd be sweet. Or Sky Rail. <laughs> Wait, is this? Yeah, this is Sky Rail. <laughs> I'll take this. This is absolutely Sky Rail. Hang on. This is absolute. Oh my god, this is Sky Rail. This is sick. Whoops. <laughs> oh my god, this is absolutely sky rail. This is amazing. I'm actually going to get to more consistently enjoy sky rail because sky rail is always the, the level that reminds me of some of the faults sh um, like, um, Sonic Adventure 2 has in the gameplay because the level is just slightly too technical. Yep, this is still here. There's like two levels in Sonic Adventure 2, it's like speed stages, that are just ever so slightly too technical in terms of like level mechanics. 
that makes some of the um, the, get, like, the game engine's flaws really highlight, and Sky Rail is one of them. Like, it's a super fun level, but if you're trying to get, like, S, like all the A ranks and whatnot, it really shows its ugly face and some of its problems. Oh god, okay, yeah, this is the whole of Sky Rail then, if, those, if, if the second red ring. I thought I'd missed one, it'd been so long. And then the third one's only right here, so like, what was that all about? Is it just because that bit's so open-ended, they didn't want to put a red ring in there? <laughs> I can actually go for this shit because I wouldn't dare risk doing the homing attack over a bottomless bit in Adventure 2 because I haven't trusted it. I'm not. I'm taking it slightly slow because I don't know where the um, red rings are going to be. And there's the last one. Nice. Nice, and uh, yeah, and you got all these still. Alright, that was going to go for that S rank. 225. We actually wasn't as far off as I, as I thought we'd be. Let's go, to, let's go for it. We have to do it in 225. Sky Rail. It, the homing attacks peak. I can't remember which way it's quicker, but it's not that it matters. Can you just... Oh, you can! Interesting! I was gonna say, can you just, like, oh, like disobey the rules? Shit like this that I end up really appreciating because it's just like, it was because like they could have just stuck to the Unleashing Generations level because they're probably far, far easier to um, fit into the logic of the new engine, but no, they decided to do this instead. As I like immediately fuck up an easy jump. Alright, let me just, hang on. <laughs> well, it's a long level, so that's quite a hefty restart, but like, what the heck was that section? sequence break. I was, I was like, hang on a minute, I think that rails from way later on the level. <laughs> yeah, we're way over here now. Fuck you. <laughs> that enemy trying to shoot at me from that angle. We're at the end, and we, we've only been on a minute. Yeah, that was a hefty sequence break to, to act on. 
Because this is the fight that what would be the final rail, just lower. Nice. So you want the easy time to end the S rank, just dive for that rail, because it goes back the whole level goes back on itself. now after that sick level I'm gonna kind of go up pester knuckles is there an easy way up looks like there kind of is hang on <laughs> yeah I was gonna say there is stuff here But again, gets too eager to send me away. Shit. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Slightly tougher. Oh my god, there's another one of the zigzaggy all over the placey areas. I want to go do that. So let's see if there's any of your buddies around. I gotta do this. I like these sections. Where it's a little bit more linear. Okay, there's nothing over here, so just ride it out. It's like headset. It's not sitting on my head as nicely as I wanted it to. Oh god. <laughs> oh that's a trap, because you'll just go straight through if you keep holding on. Interesting. Are we going on these like floating ruins? That was fun. on this island, let's check. Three. Oh, okay, we didn't make anywhere near as much progress as I thought we did last time. <laughs> I say that, I know we got kind of heavily distracted. 
Oh, is this your shortcut? Yeah. Okay, so if you want to get back up here easily. It says it's way over here. Uh, let's go back to Nox. Can't wait to fight that thing. Honestly, didn't mean to do that. I just pressed X one too many times and started doing the motion. Oh, Nux is going to be high, higher above us, isn't he? Where are you, my boy? There you are. Oh, I still need... You... <sighs> How many I've got? Why do I still need so many more? I'll go for that instead. I like that, having the quick thinking of like, it sends you back. That's the second one now we've done that, where it sends you away from it and you have to notice and react before you just leave. Oh, okay, this is tied to this. Bump. Oh. and the map keeps going. It goes around like it's like a cavern space behind us. Right this way? Yeah. Where does that send me? Way up to that. Oh, and then down the back of it. That's nice. That's <laughs> I like how creative they were with all these little things around. It's just a bunch of shit they throw around the end of the day, but it's how much of it and how each one feels a little unique. And they could have very easily uh, not. Oh, this. keeps going. <laughs> but it keeps on going around the edge.
Oh, no, 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 not the Emerald Thief. What does actually the tip say, just to check this? You know, this Curse Emerald, the same one that needs to be defeated. Get it. Stomp it, stomp it out. Oh, okay. What are you doing? What are you, you get, get, get back to the surface, please. I was like, what, is this thing trying to take me out with it? <laughs> Wait for it to calm down. I was like, I thought this thing was on a suicide mission. It was like, you know what, Sonic, come here. Oh, there's a lot. Uh-oh. Gotta remember that Sonic is very responsive to um, slopes. So that's why my jump was kind of eaten up because I was on a down slope when I tried to jump, but Sonic just wasn't having it. <clears throat> God, it just keeps going. And there's another map? <laughs> I feel like it's less that this part of the map is just ginormous. I feel like all of this is like just mountains and we're just going around the edge of it. Like as in like this isn't this is not playable scenery that we're going around, but this is just circling the edge. And we'll end up like back here or something. Set me here. I need to get into the habit remembering that um, Sonic will auto lock onto the walls. You don't have to do it yourself. I get so paranoid that he will just drop, but no, that's not how they work. this one. Oh, stop the buttons in. Hey, there's the fishing spot. Another random little space way off in the distance. <laughs> Just like it was on Island 1. Oh, what kind of lost cave shit was that? <laughs> This is cool. This underground space. Ooh. Oh, 
Oh, is this how you get to the big fishing island? <laughs> yeah, it absolutely is. Let's go in. Let's go past the big in fishing spot two. Hey, Sonic. Welcome back. Would you like to try? Oh, because it's better fish here, so it costs two. Got it. Sure, let's have some cozy fishing time. Oh, Han Nemo. It's crazy how, like, tranquil and lo-fi the fishing is compared to how, like, crazy some of the other game, rest of the game is. Oh my god, what have we got here? A cola camp? And we've got 12 tokens out of it, damn. I did look, there is a trophy for getting every fish, so I will be on that eventually. Oh, squid. Have you hook a squid? <laughs> What's on that bait? <laughs> oh wow, What's, this better be special. Oh. Hermit scroll, okay, that's fair enough. So you are gonna get tougher with it. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I got the DLC code to put on the Adventure Soap Shoes. I forgot to activate it. I mean, I've, done, I've got the code on. I forgot to swap to... Oh, my God. I forgot to swap to it. Oh wow, it's gold! Nice! Three gold cards! Hang on. Would you like to try? I'll... Considering that's the most expensive, it's idiotic to spend it on anything else. from my own Eggnet, the United Federation, even planet Donpa Kingdom race data. <gasps> as best as I can surmise, this cyberspace extends... Uh, well the, the Team Sonic the Racing designers, reference, at least with the Donpa Kingdom. And is gaining information from around the world. Fascinating. I am officially jealous. <laughs> this entire expanse was constructed by the ancient race who had previously settled on these islands. The level of technology they employ is completely alien to me, so I can't salvage it. Yet, it appears the Starfall Islands act as the CPU for cyberspace. Oh. Once I'm out of here, I need to secure them at all costs. I'm not able to access the data too readily, but it appears the entire history of the ancients is recorded here in cyberspace. More than that, they logged their memories, their desires, it's almost like they encoded and of course Eggman has read the last the line. Of course, he's always his top how, priority is him. How can I use that to my benefit? Mm. Would you like to try? I'll let... That's enough for now, Big. We can now warp between the hermits <clears throat> on this island. 
Yeah. Wait, let me summon my army. There they are. Look at them. They even oh, they even go on top of things if they're nearby. It. That's cool. Let's go, my friends. Is there an easy way off this, or do I have to go back down into the tunnels? Oh, okay. You have to, you have to go back into the tunnels. Okay. All right, no matter. Let's go. We didn't go this way. Telling you the order to take them out in. <laughs> How are we doing on this? So they've both respawned. We can literally warp to the hermits if we want to. Which I might do, just because it's a bit closer. Hopefully we can actually afford that one now. Can't walk to you. Where is the other Hermits, actually? Hmm. Let's walk to you. I brought a mountain side of these, so my levels might sky. Yeah, doesn't say my levels might go up a bit. I'm good. Oh, and two freeze there, so let's go do that. So I can kind of see this, the end piece. Hey Knuckles, have I actually got enough of this one? I do, good. See what this is about. <clears throat> it's not fair. How come you get to jump in and out of cyberspace and I'm stuck halfway? Well, it beats me. It sounds like we all experience the dimension differently. Yeah, I didn't see any way out. Your trips sound less complicated. Well, whatever. The spooky sky boy says I just have to trash the Titan. Spooky sky voice, yes. <laughs> so we have a plan. Oh yeah? Why isn't it talking to the rest of us then? That's a, actually a good point then. Actually, not. As I said, it's only because it sees us as the key because we're the ones going in and out. Oh, we also we've got 58 of those skill points, so we can actually get the thing. And then I suppose once we hit 20 after that, we'll get auto combo and then just immediately turn it off. So when we get hit, press X to um, to re um, retaliate. Nice. 
All right, my army, let's go. Two, three. Is it blurred because it lets you figure out whether you want to go ahead, which is square, or up, which is jump. short. I feel like that's a part of Generations Chemical Plant, but honestly couldn't tell you. 55, oh, it's got another one of these ones, got it. Let's go for it. cover me a little bit more but oh well actually that wasn't too bad Too small. I feel like fighting you again, Tank. I figured you out. One cycle is like I did with the um, the giant things. Oh no, it does force me to. Got it. Whoa! Oh, 
all this again. Oh, she's around. I want to go talk to Sage. This is as well, but then after that we'll head to Sage and do 2-4. Oh, God. Where am I taking this? To the cannon, okay. Okay, not the chain. You are aiming for the door. They're kind of funny about it. It's like, oh, let me just pick up the missile. It's armed. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be Knuckles just watching me run around round a fucking missile in my hand. <laughs> no, that's not what we're aiming for. Then what are we aiming for? Oh, there's shit down here. Got it. So we need to find a way to... pull the plug. Hang on, Knuckles. I want to figure this out. Let's just see what this says. Oh, it's just telling you that you can side loop the thing. I was hoping it'd say when you're using the cannon, these are the sort of things you're aiming for. I figured it out. It's not to destroy walls, it's to hit switches. So that's gonna lift it up, it's gonna like pull up the plug and drain the water so I can get down the ground down there. Oh, it goes down into a pit as well. Where'd Knuckles go? Was Knuckles going to be like, oh man, maybe if you could figure out how to get that missile at that plug or something then? And because I already figured it out, it won't do it. <laughs> oh, there's like down right at the very bottom. Idea? Well, hey, you've revealed the way forward. 
That's what's important. Says you, you can't feel this heat. Oh well, race you to the next emerald. Is there anything down in there for him to say way forward? Because it doesn't look like there was. Honestly. Oh, unless it's just to be able to get to this. Because you couldn't reach it normally. Probably more accurate that. Let me get up to you. Something's not interested too slippery. That looks like it fires me off at it, so how do I get on that? What the heck is all this nonsense? Look at this. Look at all these crossing paths and shit. <laughs> There we go, I just had to manipulate it a little bit. Hello, problem. Okay, your flying nightmare is a step up from the giant. Very mobile, but it's going to end the same way. How are you able to utilize the Chaos Emeralds? I must reassess the battle parameters. I cannot afford to have you win again. Well, you know, you could call it off and let me save my friends in peace. No? Fine. We'll do it your way. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I learned that Sage is voiced by Ryan Bartley, which is uh, my Toyama in Death and Request 2, which I just thought was kind of cool. And there's our easy way back up. Yep. So it's like, welcome to the Sonic family, Ryan Bartley. <laughs> it's just cool to see you. Oh, I'm guessing this. I've opened all the gates, so I think I just got the trophy for it. It's only five rings. Oh, this is from the. This music's from the trailer. From the uh, the, um, the, um, the cyberspace music for M showcase. They did, but the DJ mix or whatever it was.
this Rad is this Radical City? It is! It's this, um, this is Shadow's- oh my god, this is Shadow's first level. Well, I, the later piece of it, but still. I think it's only the last piece of it, I think it would have been super cool to if it had been the whole thing. Like, it's only like the last piece. Aww, because that was fun. I was like... <laughs> Alright, fine. I can just see you there, so I do want to go get that. Shark. This one we haven't fought. This is the one near the, um, near the entrance we fought before. Like again, so I'm gonna see if I can quick kill it. Oh, it's okay. it's still forcing you to do at least two cycles. Because that last attack just keeps register. Yeah, no, you physically can't kill it on one run. Annoyingly, you have to actually finish it in, in this cycle. Well, hopefully, it'll take us back to where we were. Swing you into his missiles. I'm just waiting for my opportunity. Where did we end up? <laughs> okay, not too far from where we were. There we are. Alright, fine, I'll play by your rules. I'm 
still am curious if you um, if skill points will have relevance once we get the last skill. Oh, I fuck! There's two dead end points. There's, there's two dead end points. We need to not make that happen. Two dead end points. We can't do it. Dead end points. There we go. They're getting more awkward. the one to go fight the titan so the titan arena is going to be like here then that's the plot one so let's not go to that one yet Amy said her cyber cage wasn't a fun time. How was it for you? Miserable. Like a living nightmare. It was the most alone I've ever felt. And at the same time, I was drowning in terrible visions and emotions. Like I said, nightmare. Yeesh. These visions, they weren't like what Tikal showed us when Nice Lake Adventure 1 reference, jeez. They're really the referencing the past here, bringing up Tikal. I don't think so. But if you're right, and that prison was bringing back those memories, that's cruel. If I find out who designed it, they're gonna pay. Hmm. Long day. You're right, one man. Oh, we can finally buy that last skill that I'm immediately gonna turn off, but at least we can complete the chart. There. <laughs> Let's go. Actually, where am I going? Oh, it, this is kind of off map, so we just got kind of riding it out. Whoops. Got too carried away tricking. is this? Look, look, clearly we need to get them in here, but how do I move them? Oh, we can't do this yet. Yeah, we can't you do this yet. That's the to access the boss puzzle. So we have to actually get all the requirements of the boss first. Got it. At least we know that's there now. Uh, one. Three. Oh, speaking of bosses, one man. The bosses in this game are like some of the like the actual major bosses in this game are some of the sickest shit I've ever experienced in a video game. I made it a stream highlight last uh, uh, yesterday because it was just like the, the first major boss of this game is absurdly good, and I am so stoked to get to the later ones. If the first boss was as fun as that, kind of. There's only gonna be like one or two more map um, challenges in this area, right? All right, I think that's that. That might actually be the last map challenge.
Oh. Nice. Yeah, I've got the trophy for it. So that's, that's this is the last map one. So the map will fill in now. Nice. And we can now fast travel to all the portals. And there's still so much I miss. There's still so much. Actually, I'll take the locker off this. Knuckle scene I need to see there. Sage scene there. I'll go for Sage because I always find to be any game that allows you to sit down and have a chat with the main villain is uh, I, I, I want to go do it. <laughs> What's the nearest quick travel? Oh, I can travel to the hermit. Hello, you trouble child. Hey, I'm willing to let bygones be bygones if you tell me how to restore my friends. Both Amy and Knuckles are all ghosty. Kind of like you. All data within cyberspace is restricted to outsiders. You see, that's the thing. They're kind of half in, half out. Can you at least tell me if they're going to be okay? Their conditions are stable. They are hovering between the digital dimension and this one, but their lives are not at risk. Well, that's a relief. Sort of. Thanks for answering. Yeah, so that's the only time she's actually answered a question <laughs> when asked. Every time she just said, I'm not telling you anything, you're an outsider. There's another Nux. Let's go to Nux there. I can quick travel to this and try and find my way up. Oh. Or oh, is this just a game introducing that you can quick travel between these? Yeah, okay. Either that, or more likely, that was masking a load. <laughs> I say that, this game's actually been really surprisingly good with how quick it loads. It's only when you're entering um, cy um, cyberspace and leaving that it actually has to stop to actually load something. Like it's loading in new levels. Besides the Coco, these islands seem deserted, don't they? Yeah. Put it mildly. The ancients' buildings on both islands, but nobody's home. Given their state of decay and how much nature has reclaimed them. I'd say they've been gone for a long time. Longer than any civilization we know of. I'd like to think that they simply moved on and settled somewhere else. Not that they're... gone. Some of the active technology seems built for storing and protecting the Chaos Emeralds. Comparing that to what's on Angel Island, I feel like I was drawn here for a reason. Hmm... Well, yeah, there are, even though it's different technology, there's definitely referential tech to Angel Island here. Like, there was a scene earlier where they talked about how it feels like one might have even inspired the other. Like, they, they have that kind of familiarity. Wow, is this really in the middle of buttfuck nowhere? There's no quick travel near this one? Knuckles, why couldn't you put your cutscene somewhere decent? Come on. It's literally in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I'll walk to this one. This is a straight line. Oh god, right, Strider's back. Say so my gameplay was weird, what was up with it? I'm trying to add the back to trials. Well, if, if it's just whatever takes your fancy, I guess, isn't it? It's interesting to hear you say you were playing Fearis, though. 
Good soon, that's like your least favorite um, that layer game from the sa from that all you have. We always talk about it. Oh, I like it because I've already beat this mini boss before. There's a little star in its health bar, so it's like, hey, look, you have beat this thing before. If you want to just leave, you can. It's because this game basically has the equivalent of Blood Moon. Sorry, Ford. Yeah, fair enough. This game has the equivalent of Blood Moon, and when the Blood Moon triggers, it respawns every single mini boss as well. So that's why this game's telling me I've already fought this boss before. Verona's is my least. Verona's. Is... Arlen? I suppose that if it is Arlen, that makes sense because it's the furthest back. And so, of course, they were, like, it's like the, the, the least experienced version of, um, of like, Gus's development practices. God, it's still a long way to go to get to this thing. Fine, I'm give myself an infinite boost. Who's the weakest? Out of hatred, it's more the objective analysis, so Tatori might actually compete with Verona. Because at least Verona moved at a decent pace. Mm. Oh, so, so that's always the curse, though, and sometimes when you go back to much, like older titles, you see like the parts where they were still learning, so to speak, like where they were still trying to figure things out. So it feels clunky to go back to it. Am I close yet, Nux? Oh, I'm going towards the main one. Fucking goddamn. <laughs> What's the one objective? I don't want to do the main one yet. The story is running. It's slower than this nails. Play such a point where I attempt to get motion sickness from the blur. Ugh. God, speaking of blur, this sandstorm that's kicking in is really starting to obstruct my view. There you are, Nux. Look at the size of this. What do you call it? Satellite dish? <laughs> what do you got? Also, yeah, you see that giant, like, yeah. skeletal you know, thing flying through the sky? That's my next major boss fight. But I need all the chaos symbols before I can go tackle it. This advanced, but it's sturdy too. I punched it, it didn't move at all. <laughs> Knucks okay, Knuckles. The ruins. Once I find Tails, maybe he can use them to figure out what happened here. Hey, I already discovered that it's sturdier than anything we've encountered. I don't think this material I'm is wrong with the Tori's um, character over Rorona, but man, they, re they really need to win me over to Tori to win me better than Rorona, but the supporting cast is frustrating. Uh. But at the same time, how many times, you know, of the four Outlier games I've played, has there been a character that, like, my first impression hasn't been the best in the world, and you've gone give it time, and then after I've given it time, it's actually turned out they're kind of brilliant. It's just they have a rough opening. Like, you know, I wasn't a big fan of Matthias, like, at all in Lydia and Suli, but he grew on me. I don't really care about what I'm disliking and what I really like. Fair enough. Right, is there any other optional scenes? No, okay, off to Knuckles. I mean, I say that. Um, there's an emerald over there I need to go nab. That one I already have. That's why it's not flashing. That's the puzzle. Let's go get this emerald first. Get on the get more on the board. Uh, what's our closest warp? The the hermit. Not the best, at least I thought something not right. About. I suppose Selica, sorry sister, she just already had this melodramatic fight. <laughs> They try and make like the like character drama. They're not quite um, <laughs> Furious and Leonie kind of close, huh? 
when I say that, I don't think any si a sibling should be as insanely close as Lenny is with Fearus in particular, because holy shit, that girl is a... Uh... Fucking hell, that girl is into, <laughs> into Fearus. <laughs> I suppose you can only find out as the game goes on. Right, how on earth do I get myself around to- Oh, it's literally in this ca crevice, never mind. I was like, how on earth do I get to this? No, it's just in- it's right in front of me. Murdrama Tutorial must become an adventurer. Oh, so it's sort of similar to like Beerus getting argumentative with her parents when she wanted to be an adventurer, but they weren't so keen. Usually stubborn against it. Oh, so you think Selica maybe has a history and is like what like worried or scared for him for Tutorial's safety or something? Right, we have four emeralds, so there's three left. As it wasn't likable. Well, the Fearis, like the pro, like the problem that ended up coming up with that is that the parents weren't likable. It was the other way around. Like I could, I, I adored Fearis's desire and love and passion to like want to go out, and her parents were just like, no, fuck you, you're stuck on the ground. And I was just like, oh, come on. <laughs> so goes against it because their mum died. Oh shit. Maybe, maybe. Just get over there. I don't need to quick travel. I can just beeline for it because I'm Sonic, for God's sake. I can just get there. I don't have to fight these things, but I kind of like doing it, so... So here does all the mum-ish tasks. Fair enough. You're making up an army here, Knuckles. What's going on here? <laughs> Look at this guy. He's got troops of war going on. What's up? These Coco are supposed to link up with another unit, but an enemy has them pinned down here. Oh, they are, are like an army. To be helping find the emeralds. I could do both. Hurry up if you want in on the fight. And all these pieces and the usual level of tenacity against the toy being adventurer. This is my theory. Fair. Um, take all the Cocos back to Knuckles. Sonic, uh, if it is, I'll be like, oh, okay, fine. <laughs> uh, Sonic can speed things up by carrying the Coco, but the towers will also speed up. Boosting and dodging are not available in this quest. Oh my, oh, I get it. Oh God. And he's gonna stack them higher and higher, isn't he? So you have to get you have to wait for the tower to get higher and higher to reach them. Oh no. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> yeah, they get ah! Okay, I'm not getting them. Oh shit, I I might have let these get too fast. Ow! Okay, don't let it get that big. You can, it can get too fast. Beats and valleys are all ridiculous. Let's leave it a six. This is healthy. I'll do three patches a six. Ow, fuck. Okay, let, can I restart this mini game? Don't say Erica will be there. I hate you with being an adventurer, and then they both immediately born the tears to each other. I hate. Yeah, but. I can think of a lot of other stories that have done the same thing. Where the siblings that minutes ago said they hated each other, then immediately show that no, they actually still deeply care about each other. There's just they're disagreeing. And the disagreeing is causing them problems. Oh, I went the boost, right? Well, the boost is turned off. For zero time, let the story simmer. Yeah, so you kind of wish that they would actually almost like 
do the healthy thing and take a minute away from each other. But they don't. They immediately go straight back into... The, the story must carry on, so they carry on. Yeah. Yeah, they probably are, and also... I probably hate it. I tend to not like unearned dramas. Hmm... But if he's, uh, yeah, I get what you mean, because there are so many times in games, it's like, or just stories in general, where it's like, it feels like you get to the drama arc, and it's like, suddenly these characters that are supposed to get along really well, suddenly don't for no reason. You're like, why? Not like with Beerus, but Beerus at least had some level of stability. Well, yeah, because like, Beerus was extremely clear what she wanted to do and what she was after, and it was made clear to the player she'd been after it for like a very long nice time, work, but soldiers. always to hit a hurdle. Now, she finally had an force. opportunity to surpass yeah, that hurdle and was stopped because the parents were said so anyway. So she got know. pissed off, she got annoyed. Mm. I'm surprised she didn't flip out again when they pushed the bench, uh, the, when they pushed the goalpost further the back. The whole, if you can help the town of alchemy, we'll let you go outside. She does it. Okay, you have to pass the exam or they're taking you back. What the fuck? That's not what you said a minute uh, earlier. Like, Vir like Virus' parents, that's why I'd, like, I had, like, problems with them. Because they just pushed the goalposts. Like, no, don't fuck over your kid like that. Is it she got, like, doing the equivalent of, hey, if you pass your exams, I'll get you a PS5. Because you don't actually expect them to pass. And then they pass. It's like, no, you have to then deliver. You can't then be like, oh, I meant get an A grade, you know? Because then they, the parents will... The, your kid will resent you for that shit. They will never want to speak to you ever again. Or do anything you want ever again. Sorry. Is also taught by Verona. Oh, so it's a sort of the same deal as, like, um, Fear is being taught by Sophie. I wonder if that's a constant, then. And it's only, like, Riser that breaks away from it. Because it's only Riser 1, 2, and 3. Where it's like, in the Dusk games, the second Dusk game, you, you're you taught under the first Dusk game's protagonist. Sort of thing. So if you just paint Oh yeah, right, yeah, because this is the other way around, like you... I think of it as a prototype. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, where have I just ended up? I was just fucking around. Oh, there's treasure back here, so I was, it, I was, it was a good thing I was messing around. Okay, however it is I got here, I clearly got here the, the, the unintended way, so let's look at- Oh, right. I'm only a chapter in. Yeah, so things can always change. Alright, let's see what's next for these armies. So I'm sure eventually things will smooth out. Uh-oh. You see how you get to see a glimmer of the past again, of what was going on between the ancients. But they really were a full army at one point. Things mostly smoothed out, though I still don't quite have a, 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 the appeal there enough. I've experienced this before. We're somehow seeing a battle from the past. But who were they fighting? Those defenses are impressive. Maybe I should get some notes for my island. That's the thing. We know that these things are at war, but what were they at war with? We haven't fig figured that out yet. What was the monster that annihilated this race? Oh fuck, well they're just dead. They're dead. <laughs> and there's that sign again, that Zoe. In the sky. I guess the defenses didn't hold after all. Because that's what these Cocos are. They're like the existing final shells of these ancients. Meanwhile... <laughs> oh, what, what are you up to, Eggman? Then the robot hit him again. <laughs> I 
look forward to your battle reports once we're home. Home? I'll integrate you into my system. Give you control of the whole Eggnet. He calls it the Eggnet? Oh, this idiot. <laughs> You'll be a refreshing change of pace from Orbot and Cubot. I'm glad Orbot and Cubot aren't in this game. Like me. If this is supposed to be like Eggman's new assistant going forward, I vastly hmm. prefer Sage. I suppose so. Just because she's not trying to make these idiotic quips every two fucking seconds that Orbot and Cubot were. That was the most annoying thing about those two. They never shut the fuck up. <laughs> I can confirm Sonic has made multiple breaches into cyberspace and escaped. Through raw talent and no shortage of tenacity, I'm sure. <laughs> Impressive. You speak of him with respect as often as you curse him. I do not understand. They've been at each other's throats oh, for decades. I that hedgehog. That doesn't change the fact that he is a formidable adversary. I respect him. But I don't have to like him. Your genius, his skill. If only you two could work together. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's going to be the solution to whatever the fuck's going on, is getting those two to actually side for once. Because they've done it before, and lo and behold, it's fucking helped. It's just they so rarely do it. <laughs> also, Mike Pollock has been voicing Eggman since, I think, 2003? And he still sounds just as good as always, and he's still got it. Like, it's kind of crazy how long, it, like... Um, he, like Eggman's had that voice now. And Fitz, I wonder if Dean Bristow was still alive, whether it would have still been Dean Bristow. Because that was the, that was the only reason they made the swap. Mike Pollock was originally supposed to be only for the anime. Sonic and Eggman, see what he besties off camera. A lot of people make that theory. Don't worry about it. Like in canon, it's more that although they don't like each other, they both have a deep respect for what each other can do. Like, Sonic respects that Sonic is a, that um, Eggman is a goddamn genius and worked his ass off to get where he is. Whilst Eggman can respect that Sonic has a complete never-giving-up attitude and always finds a way to come out on top. It's just they don't see eye to eye. My friends that don't like me, but res Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's going on with these troops. I don't troops. care if you're afraid. Those are your people out there. To <laughs> fucking off the... <laughs> Knuckles! Gosh, what's with the pep talk? If the defense is down, the soldiers are supposed to fall back to a bunker. Then I'll round up the stragglers and you supervise, Commander. <laughs> Knuckles is that just sounds... like, stop fucking around. That sounds good. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm a commander. <laughs> what am I doing? Uh, guide Cooker back to Knuckles and avoid their bombs. A hit times will fail. Oh, so it's um, herding. Got it. Go, men! Back to the bunker! Go! Go, I tell thee! Oh, jeez. Oh, wow, okay, the bomb- Oh, god, okay, I should have been paying more attention. Uh-oh. Okay, it goes away. I was about to say, is this the whole mission? You're supposed to be paying more attention to where the enemies go? Is it just when they drop a bomb, it, um, it creates a storm? Alright, we're done. See how more irrelevant I am, it's really not surprising. Mm. Oh my god! What the fuck? Just throw back Sonic 3, okay. Yo, Nux! Or is it showing that Sonic's reminiscing? This looks like ruins from back home. What if the people of these islands survived and resettled on Angel Island? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, what they spotted. That's not a good sound. Let's freak these things out. Oh, that'll do it. Remember, Knuckles, you can't do anything. I can't... I can't lose this! 
Yeah, this is this is potentially a piece of his home. He's got a. Thank you, son. Defeat all towers within the time limit. Dodge can't be used. Why not? <laughs> Oh, I know why dodge can't be used. Because you can then use dodge... Ow. Because then you could then use the dodge attack to zip up to their heads. And then completely trivialize this challenge. That's why. Ow, fuck. You're making me feel feelings, Sonic. <laughs> Oh! I'm supposed to bring him to the ground and run up. Oh, okay. I'm definitely not beating this in the first attempt. I didn't realize you were supposed to do this. My bad. I'll be very amazed if I get this done in one then. Ow! Well, I died anyway. Now, yeah, now I figured out what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to run up them. Because they usually have like, these, like, these electric barricades on them. But these ones don't. I just didn't realize. Fuck you. Well, I got hit, but I got up here, so who's the real winner? <laughs> I grew up playing the Justice games with my aunt, and Sonic was the main game. Yeah. Well, that was Sonic 3. That was um, the start of Sonic 3. So that was, that's like, so Sonic the Hedgehog 3 is the very, very first game I have any recollection of playing as like a tiny toddler. And so like, I, that by nature is always a very significant game. So that was a very nice nod. This game's filled to the brim with nods to the past entries, and I love it because like the, um, the whole Colors era, which is 2011 to 2017, kind of ignored most of the lore. <laughs> That's where I started and ended with Heroes. Yeah, 2002's Heroes. Or was it 2003? One or the other. There's a Zal thing again. Heroes was fun. It was janky in places, but it was fun. As long as you didn't play the PS2 version. And then it was super fucking janky. Is that Emerald's... Hang on, is that the last Emerald? It looked broken. Or was he thinking about his home again? I think he was. Uh, uh oh, did you play the PS2 version? Because the game was built with the um, GameCube only in mind, and then it got put. And then well, I said it was GameCube and Xbox. Really, it was originally not going to be on PlayStation full stop, but um, Sony. Um, basically made a demand to Sega saying that you will put it on the PlayStation 2 and so the PS2 port was done very last minute and so it had and so it, it had a lot more technical problems than the Xbox and GameCube version did it's still playable it's just you're gonna encounter a lot more things that shouldn't happen in it because it was it, the port was kind of rushed So I had the PS2 version as a kid, but then later on I played the GameCube version and I was like, oh fuck, it's like night and day. Yeah, Sonic doesn't know how to approach the fact that this is tied to, this might be tied to Knuckles' old home. Ago, my people were wiped out by a cataclysm. Yeah. I know the Coco faced something similar. It reminds me I'm the last Echidna. That I'm alone. Fuck. You may be the last, but you're not alone. You've got us, Knucklehead. I'll admit, I do envy your lifestyle. Freedom to go where you want, when you want. So do it. Get out there and live a little. Maybe I could. But first, I need to be back to normal. So hurry up and get me back to normal. Anything to get you away from me. <laughs> These two. <laughs> 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 Meanwhile, Sage is just like, what are those two idiots doing? He is at odds with. He 
he is quick to make peace. Sage is learning. No. I have run the simulations. They are doomed. As the siege is starting to doubt, she's starting to actually be like, actually, maybe Sonic isn't a piece of shit. Oh, so now we can do the main puzzle. Did we, did we get the last emerald? I don't think we did. No, yeah, we're still missing one, so I'm guessing it's tied to this. Let's get over there. Actually, is there a local-ish warp? Of course not. Okay, let's just run over there. we are siege right now, because siege wants Sonic and Eggie to be friendos. Here. I love what this in this game's um, lore and story is doing. Oh, I don't have any more level ups. Whoops. What I should do is turn in my army to the um, elder. If you don't know what I'm talking about, this is my army. <laughs> if you stand still, your your um, all the cocos you found come join you. So I need to actually like take these guys home. Yeah, that's why this is flashing. So let me detour and do that instead. Let's take these boys home. Then we'll do the puzzle, try and get that last emerald and fight the second major boss, because I think that's all that's really left. Uh, max speed, please. I'm not fast enough, clearly. I genuinely don't see the point in putting anything to ring cap. Capping out 400 rings isn't. I'd say I know it's expanding life, but it just doesn't feel that worth it when you can just boost your defense so much. I, I have to. I looked at the trophy list. There's a trophy for maxing all your stats. So at some point, I'm going to have to do that. But I'll worry about that way later. God damn, how many Cocos did I actually bring you? How many more levels can I get out of this? Not that I'm complaining. We're going to take off that super sonic speed after this. As you know, the next major boss just continues to fly through the sky, minding his own business. You'll get yours soon. Game journals in mind. Yeah, boost your health! Uh, which is funny because, like, I'd say, like, this game is the perfect example of a game that's only intended for a certain audience. Because it's it's really not intended for a general audience. It's why this game scores, like, 7 and 8 out of 10s. While it's, like, games like God of War Ragnarok, and this isn't me taking a jab at that game, please don't take it like that, are getting 10s. It's because God of War is intended for a more generalized audience is intended that anyone can get into it. Whilst this, if you're not in the platforming crowd, you're not in these kind of like hyper fast like things, this game is never gonna be for you. Shit. So of course it's getting lower scores because it isn't for everyone. Oh, whoops. How do I make it keep hold of it? Need support. Well, the thing is, and there was a tweet I saw the um, yesterday that I think summarized it perfectly. Um, seven out of ten games that you are in the audience of will always be more fun than a ten out of ten game because it's suited more for you. But when they're more generalized, something gets missing for it. Yeah, it feels like chasing two hairs. Because it's the same, like, yeah, Lear is another good example. That's got a specific audience in mind. Sonic, it's never going to be for everyone. I don't think this ancient machinery was active before. Any idea what changed? Something similar happened on the last island. Let's just call it a little divine intervention. If I can solve the lock's code, it should open yeah, the Jack way to that master and none. Yeah. Wait, and so, so, yeah, like, critically, yeah, of course they're going to get the 10s, because everyone can hop in and enjoy it. But it doesn't that mean it's gonna your you're gonna shreds. love it as much as the things that like tick your the specific last niche. Was holding the final emerald. I'm willing to bet it's the same deal here. 
meant for everyone, then why, though, why aim for a general audience? Yeah, exactly. Game. Let me see. The stones and the ports. I mean, the poster boy of my um, reason is uh, Metal Gear Rising. When that came out on PS3 and 360, um, that game got like sixes, and some like some reviews gave it like fours out of tens. Like there were people that really didn't fucking like it, and now look at it—it's a cult classic because it had a specific audience in mind. And if you weren't a part of it, you were never gonna like it. How do I make this thing maintain grip? Is it because it's not like 100% like precise on? Oh, it has to be precisely on it. Got it. Here's the thing. I'm not opposed to common games either. Well, no, yeah, they have... They can be... If they're multiplayer based, I think they can be kind of fun. Even in like the generalized audience, because you can have people to play with, and you know, if you it doesn't matter who, which one of your friends you get in on it, they're gonna like it. That's not gonna hold. Entirely contrarian, just mostly so. <laughs> oh, I didn't pick it up. I thought I got it. There we go. So you have to be spot on, as it well doesn't hold the link. Oh, but the game's nice nice enough to throw you a bone and also correct then. I saw that. Needs to be slightly lower. Got ya. Games like Skyrim will come out. Yeah, fair. That's too what okay. Yeah, because that's super general audience, and look at how beloved that is. <laughs> And there's nothing wrong with games being general audience. It's just, I said, they unfortunately, I almost ironically end up becoming not for me sometimes because they're too generalized. I like the hyper specific niches that are just badass. Because this game's amazing to me. I'm genuinely having a blast with this game. did it. Nice work. Was there ever any doubt? I'm not opposed to general audience games if I feel lots. I know it's worth my time. Huh. <laughs> Here we go. Well, for me, Try it's like keep up. the last Sonic oh, game that felt like it, it truly just nailed it with no compromise was Unleashed or Black Knight. I reason why I say all Black Knight is because Black Knight did have gameplay problems, but its story and music and level design was great. It was just the gameplay of it being stuck on the Wii remote had some problems. Whilst Unleashed was just genuinely brilliant. I know not everyone was a fan of the of the night stages, but as someone who was a fan of them, it was like a 16-hour thrill ride. I loved that game. But that was 2008 and 2009 for Black Knight, respectively. Ever since then, every Sonic game, there's always been a It's Cool But. Like, there's always something that's just not quite the same with them. And it's because the Colors era, which was that entire era, was aimed for a much younger demographic. Like, it was aimed for basically toddlers, it feels like, at things. And so overly, like, dumbed everything down and made the stories near non-existent. The le levels play themselves and in general were really meh. In that like, sort of thing. So they just never vibed with me. So the last Sonic game that really vibed me was 14 or 13, if I want to count Black Knight, years ago. So of course this game's going like, to like, hit something special, because this game's phenomenal. Oh, I see what Sonic's think. Yeah, this thing gets near that tall tower. Get on it, hop on, <laughs> hop on the Hydra's back. Kingdom Hearts style. Where's that emerald? The Wyvern. Alright, time for our next major boss. Let's try and get on this bitch. Sonic is not ready to defeat the Wyvern. Turn to Super Sonic to take it down. Get to a higher ground and reach it using homing attack. Made it. Oh, 
Oh, I see. It's chicly hidden here, right. I've got to wait for this thing to get close enough, haven't I? Hey! Hey! Hey, over here! Oi! Hey! Oh, I don't want to make the commitment. I don't know if I'm close. Oh, I'm nowhere near close enough. It's around that. Do I just need to, like, push for that tower? Anyone feel like I don't like from AC a bit? Assassin's Creed is probably the most relevant example of general audience game I'm into. Oh, I was yeah, because I drifted after um, the fourth game, Black Flag. I liked Black Flag, but that was kind of like enough for me. Oh, so that was just more of like a view. Okay, let's go to the actual tower they expect us to climb. So I remember after Black Flag, I enjoyed Black Flag, but I was just kind of like, I looked at what Unity was and I'm like, I'm good. And I just never got around to trying anymore. I had mixed things in Syndicate and like all the RPG newer ones. I'm just like, I'm good, thanks. I am tempted to give the new one a try when it comes out, just because it's supposed to be going back to basics, and that alone is like, oh, that could be kind of nice to make it a traditional Assassin's Creed adventure again. Oh god. Oh lord, they're coming. Gotcha. Unity is built more for pros. It's a steep curve. Fair enough. Oh god, okay. How it is the Chaos Emerald in its mouth? Are you insane? How am I getting that? I saw that purple glow coming out of its jaw. I think it oh my god. Whoa. Oh, this is kind of cool, though. This is mostly a giant set piece, but I don't care. This is a fun, like, giant set piece. and their movements and stuff. Yeah, I mean, I saw a video recently of someone talking about how, like, Unity is kind of, like, nowadays, like, the hidden gem of the Assassin's Creed series. It was just because it had such a troubled launch that it got, got so forgotten about and pushed to the side. Whilst nowadays, you look at it, the, like, the potential the game has and some of the things you can do with it are kind of absurd. It was just, like, for me, I think... I think for me it was more of, like, I had to des decide for myself when it was wise to step away from the series. And it just felt like that was the right time. Oh, okay, so the end was not in its mouth. It's right here. All right, second major boss time. Let's go. My expectations are astronomically high after how absurdly fun the first boss was. So let's go straight in. Oh, damn. Oh, fuck. All right, we're going. Let me just enjoy this music for a second. Damn! Why is it all the boss themes, like, RIP? <laughs> it's as me familiar with that game. Yeah, that's fair. Valhalla. Oh, fuck. Oh, I need this game's whole soundtrack. <laughs> like... Why do I have to wait another month before it's out on Spotify? Like, holy shit. Fuck! <laughs> Alright, seems like it doesn't take damage, but rings will go on. Boost through the air to quickly reach the revival and parry to it to try to defeat it. Oh, 
Oh, this is an entirely different structure of a fight to the first um, boss. This is more like an auto-scroller, whilst the second one was more open. You can parry the missile straight at the bitch, that's hilarious. Whoa! Oh, okay, I wasn't expecting another slash. The pick color. <laughs> it does feel like it, doesn't it? Right, have that. And this time you actually get ready to parry again, because that bitch is going to be coming in. I'm ready to parry you this time. It's a set. There's a sound cue. I just need to pay attention to it. It's like it. Next time I get the chance to parry it, pay attention. You'll hear it. There's a, there's a slight sound cue just before it that you have to use to get your timing for the parry. That. You hear like the and now we can go in. <laughs> oh shit, phase two. But yeah, I'm not gonna say this is my game of the year until I finish it, but this this game just keeps on fucking delivering to me, man. God this music. I know it's probably outpowering my mic, but I honestly don't care. I'm loving the music too much. Get me the fuck in there. Hey bitch, it's me again. Gotcha. And again. Oh, you have to parry that bitch twice. You have to really pay attention. Got it. Get all the missiles together and kick it into his head, sure. Oh my god. We're gonna meet it in the middle, aren't we? Man. Yeah, you're telling me. This... I need all the boss songs after I'm done with this game. Because Oh, shit. The timing gets tighter in each one. <laughs> yeah, eat this, bitch. Rules and nature moment for Sonic. Yeah, just rip its mouth open like that. Damn. Two down. Do I been Jim Dooley? We still don't know what that's about. What a sick fight. I think the Titan was slightly better, but that was because the Titan was all free control. Whilst that uh, one, yeah. it was like you was kind of on like a scripted mo like motion. You just had to pay attention to your parries. Like, it was more yeah, auto-strolling. It was only when the combat kicked in, and I was actually like, at its mouth kicking the shit out of it, that I was in full control. I've got one more Titan bot to go. Hopefully I'll find Tails, too. I'm worried about him. Can even be tops? We'll find out. He'll be all right. I've got now one more up, Titan to fight before we start heading towards... Oh, is it just actually... It just said... Sonic just said Final Titan. There's five islands. So we got what comes after that if after we take on the last Titan on the third island? What's the fourth and fifth? Do 
Revy unlocked, Ancient Defiant. Alright, third island. We're gonna get we're gonna get lost or lose our chaos emeralds again, because of course we will. Yep, there all the emeralds just went. Where's Sonic crash landing? Oh, we just start. It's like, yeah, you know the drill. Look at him. So he's just like, oh, fuck my head. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, and there's another flying monster over there. This is very, um... Volcanic. Oh, so we probably are going to find Tails then. Oh, so these, yeah, these guys have got better than what they once were. Got it. going to get deadlier because now we're on the third island and it's a bit more dark and gloomy. I need to find a map. I need to find a map to get ourselves started because right now my map, yeah, my map's blank because I haven't got anything. I need to find some kind of map token to get ourselves on the board. What's this spidey boy over here? Nice. Oh, it's literally called spider. <laughs> Ow, okay, you can't parry it. I like the music. Whoa! <laughs> this means it means space. Oh, it's music. They went all out in the soundtrack for this game. This is a fucking mini boss. <laughs> Coming for you, bitch. Hey, it's me again. Oh, shit. Also, I need to like build up enough power, don't I? Or something. Yeah, okay, I need to get enough of those to build up enough power to, like, break its head. Alright, that's a fun mini-boss. That's cool. back. Oh, bitch, I didn't realize. Hang on. Oh, that's to go to the up. Oh, okay. So I need to follow this around. We'll probably circle back around to that then. So 
more cannons, more tools of war back over here. What the hell are you? Hey. Ow, fuck. Do you mind? What does it want me to do? Oh, get on top of it and stomp the bitch. Got it. Well, that's kind of rude. We just hopped on its head, then killed it. Is that for a dash pad? What? Oh, I already found the fishing spot. <laughs> sure, let's go fishing. So that means I've gone completely the wrong hey, direction. Sonic. Welcome back. Because the fishing spots are always supposed to be out off the beaten path. Would you like to try? Four. Let you borrow a rod. Let you borrow a rod. Sure, let me go fish. What can we find in these crazy waters? For a minute. A crab. That was worth 12 tokens? Damn. So it's really worth just going to these later ones then instead of going to the early ones. Because the early ones we're getting like one or two per fish. What's well, that seemed like a small fish and we got 12. Anglerfish. It's also worth 12. That's what I mean. Like we're just kind of firing off this. I'm not going to do too much fishing. Oh, nice. A free a, a free um, token. So we can get anything from the shop for free. Salmon. It's also worth... Tw yeah, 12 is the minimum. That's kind of crazy. Music makes it enjoyable. Yeah, it's like super lo fi, isn't it? Like, this is your just come hang out kind of area, tadpole. Oh, see, there, there, there we go. Now it's on the lower. There's gotta be one more, like, good fish in these techno waters. Did I just hook a turtle? It's a snapping turtle. I got 24 tokens. So it's like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> Buffer fish. Uh, don't eat it. I know they're technically edible, but they have to be cooked in such a hyper-precise way, otherwise they, you know, kill you. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey Sonic, how much, like, strength have you got in your forearms? I keep on saying one more and then putting throwing the rod out more times. There's a trophy for catching one of every fish, and I think it's gonna be like the coziest trophy I've ever. What the fuck? You got excellent. It's a twig. <laughs> Fucking is it? <laughs> is it excellent? <laughs> I know, come Moses. I'll stop. Let's go check the shop. To try? I'll let you borrow a rod. Try? I'll let you 
Right, let's have a look at these new voice dogs. They predate any civilization by a They reference the Black Babylonians? <laughs> well, they're really Black digging arms, in. Please. I might have a pop of fish in Drew Tutwick, yeah. Hardly. And yet they didn't seem to influence the world beyond these Sorry, I'm just I'm just taking it back. They referenced the Black right. Arms, which were only Let's ever a thing in Shadow the Hedgehog world. the game. And the Babylonians, which is Sonic Riders. Also, Sega, if by any chance you ever happen to watch this, make a new Sonic Riders, please. I'm begging you. We, Free Riders was a mistake. We all understand. You, try, you tried to make a game for the fucking Kinect. Of course it wasn't going to fucking work. We, we understand. Please, go back to the Riders spin-off. Those games were fun. I'm finding <clears throat> multiple connections between the Ancients and the Chaos Emeralds. Their technology seems built with the Emeralds in mind. It's almost like they share the same origin. I enjoy a good mystery. Not when the answers are more mysteries. Ah. The ancients seem to have employed a set of strange icons as keepsakes or totems. That a better shuffle? Yeah. Shuffle was the epitome the of, the, um, of um, interesting the ideas, but terribly ancient. executed. The but I don't think they'll ever go back to shuffle. The were gone. Like, they don't even like bring it up anymore. That they don't Something reference it or acknowledge it anymore. Like they've tried to kind of remove that from the public brain. It feels like they reference 06 the more often than they reference shuffle for fuck's sake. Some effort to rebuild, but they were living on borrowed time. They died out within a generation. Damn. I don't believe this. I had Sage run a diagnostic on the recorded genetic data of the ancients, and then against archives I had with I had a feeling they looked like chaos. Of chaos, the god of destruction. After they looked like years, chaos. Their DNA corroded yeah, to through the, the public. <laughs> and completely transformed into a new species, some kind of radiation. So they are okay. So that confirms that they do have links to Angel nice Island because the Master Emerald is where chaos was sealed, like and the chaos and if these things are their design are influenced or related to chaos it means they're related to angel island so angel island is, re is related to these ancients there is a link between them interesting oh is the twig yeah, the fucking what a twig used to re build or repair things it was to be fuel or fire if it wasn't so waterlogged <laughs> same message in at least same message in free language including mysterious glyphs which serves as a key to deciphering them would you like to try? I'm good now, big. <clears throat> and then shuffle would be glorious. Yeah, if they put the time and care into it, they and like kind of took it back to its basics and looked at what worked and what didn't and really fucking reconfigured it. Yeah, but if I'm honest, I think if Sonic was to make a party game, so Sonic's just in general kind of worn out. Look at him. Every time I stop him, his eye animation is just him kind of tired. Interesting. I think if they, I think if they were gonna, they would try and make it a lot more um, familiar to uh, Mario Party. Pretty not exactly the same, but I think they would take a lot of cues from Mario Party. All right, let's try and actually find a map. So I want to find a map token so we have a basis to work off. Can I not um, light speed dash this? Oh, I guess I can't. Or is it because Sonic's tired he can't use all of his abilities like this second? Sonic, please go this way. I know the camera angle's kind of weird, but please obey, uh, obey me. Okay, that's new. Hey, a map. What the fuck? Are we playing fucking Tetris? Da 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 da
Yeah, we just played Tetris. What the? F <laughs> All right, at least we got our first glimmer of what our map looks like. Jeez, that's actually not helpful at all. <laughs> Man, that's actually um, the opposite of helpful. Damn, that's kind of shit. As in, I can see there's another map icon there, which seems, by looking at the blue flashes, gives us a bit more I idea. Just to get out of here quick, got it. Oh, it's the parry, got it. Parry practice. Got it. Okay. There's a mini boss over there to fight. Tails is over there, and a. Uh, was that the Elder or the Hermit? That's the Hermit. I'm gonna go for that and kind of spin round and then go talk to Tails. Whoa! Yeah, it's like Sonic lost his footing for a sec. Eggman bases, of course. Shinobi. Are you an upgrade version of the ninjas from Island One then? It is just a buffer version of the ninjas from before then. No matter. Another parry test? Yes. This map is so like, it's just like a black ashen void. I think it's because it's supposed to be because of the volcano. Also, I just realized this is called Chaos Island. But in the top left. Yeah, because we had uh, Cronus Island was our tutorial. Ares is where we just were. And now we got C Chaos Island. Jeez. Uh, let's go there because that's a new cyberspace level. I'm going to do this first because I'm kind of curious. Fun little sequence. This little like 2D section. It is proper 2D. I can't move like um, into or out of the screen. This is just the game having a fun little like 2D spot just to kind of mix it up. And now it's gonna give. Yeah, now it's giving me control again. So that was just a nice little mix-up section. Just fuck around and we got fully charged up as well because we hit the ring cap. 
so I can actually proper boost. Uh, is there anywhere else of interest up here before I hop off? Do I really want to do this? I think I, I think there's still more up there that I wanted to do before we left. But oh well. like full of 2D sections now, now, I've, now I'm thinking about it. What is that thing? So before we end up in another 2D section, can we please go where I wanted to go? We've gone so far away from the intention. Yeah, it feels like most of these are just um, tickets into 2D sections. Oh, this is like the 2D section island. Alright, 3-1. Let's see what we got. Twenty rings? Why? Why so low? Is it? Is it going to be tough? It's green forest. This is. Hang on. I'm not going crazy. This is. It is! This is... Oh my god, this is Green Forest from Sonic Adventure 2. It's re that's what they're referencing with this. Yeah, because this is set of the seven enemies. But then this was... It used to do like a full spin, but I guess they didn't need to do that animation. And the music's sick again, because of course it is. Yeah, because this is where um, um, the, the power of the Sonic was that you needed to get proceed. Oh, it does still have the spinning um, wires. And this takes you up top easy, yep. So, so far, if it's not, they've had, we've had one Unleashed reference level, um, three Adventure 2 levels, and all the rest have been references to Sonic Generations. Whee! <laughs> so I want a Heroes level, I want an Adventure 1 level, let me Speed Highway or something. And is this going to be the Collapsing Path at the end? Yeah, this is the Collapsing Path. So that means the end of the level's here. Right off of a crazy person, they reference shuffle. Well, how would they do that in one of these levels? Oh, we also got the S rank in that. Nice. I do appreciate this game being super referential because they've ignored so much of the past in modern Sonic games for so long. Like, they've never acknowledged past games for ages. But at the same time, um, whatever comes next after this, I hope isn't as referential. I think this game gets away with it because it's been so long since we've had that kind of acknowledgement. But this island is so many um, 2D sections. I 
I mean, I get it. It's a nice change of pace. Oh, and this is heading back down towards Tails. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, because this is that big-ass structure that we did, like, the whole giant tree section circling. And he's, like, getting these, um... Wrenches early. Oh, hello, Hermit. Nice. But I was like, how did you get so many of these things so quickly? Ah, fishing. What? <laughs> Sorry, Tails, I'm just, uh, curiosity. Oh my goodness, this is sending me into space. Missed it. But, uh, oh well, it doesn't matter. Tails! Hang tight, little bro. I won't make you wait much longer. Get him out of there. So, like, you're about to feel slightly more exhausted because every time we break these open, these things like create a bunch of like r like dark energy that like fly into it. yeah. Look, see, they go straight into Sonic and corrupt him a little bit more. Oh shit! Catching my breath. Yeah, that's not what catching your breath looks like, Sonic. He never stops. Clarification. He never gives up. Look, like, he's evidently corrupting. Look at him. Seems to have left me in a digitized state. But it's doing far worse to you. are manifesting into some worrisome mutations for you. Those sure are words you said just now. <laughs> Sonic, shut the fuck up, you idiot. <laughs> I'll be fine. Like the EXE reference. Uh, it probably won't be. To rescue you. He's even entering the cyber corruption better than I calculated he would. He's just, just yeah, he's getting corrupted by cyberspace. You're always rescuing me, and let's focus on the now. What do you need? Chaos emeralds. Think you can help me track them down? I'm on it. Thanks, Tails. Good to have the buddy back. F bye. God, look at him, he is super corrupting. It's so sad someone so impressive will be lost in the end. It's... It's not fair. Aww. Oh, trophy unlocked. About the best for getting every... Oh, no, I didn't get to read that. Be empowered with this technique. What did we just get? Let me read. R2 and then X, the cross slash. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> so it's just a better version. It's just a better version of this. It's just the replacement of that. It's just it's just the way better version of Sonic Boom. You just gotta hold two buttons instead of one. Hello, my tribe. Yeah, Sonic's not feeling great. And yeah, these are Tails' um, tokens. Alright, back onto our expedition of just mass exploring. I feel like I missed... We Missed something back here, so I'm gonna kind of look around a bit more. Oh, fuck. Oh, there we are. I'm, not sure, I'm sure we won't have any of it, which would be hilarious if it is acknowledged. Yeah. <laughs> True. 
At least the sun's shining a bit more. I can see my bearings a bit better. I wonder what the um, major boss of this area is going to be. We've had Giganto, we've had Wyvern, so what's next? Oh, this is just this part of this, right. I mean, I do want to I do want to get back up top, so I'll just quickly do that. I think there was a lot more I could have explored, but I bumped into that um, boost ring immediately. These things. Shit. Boing? Boing? Oh, it's okay. I don't care about going that way anymore. It's fine. <laughs> Where should I be aiming? So there's Bigs Island that we was at. So we really detailed that much. Whoops. Uh, there's another map thing. So if we just go that way and try and get as many of these things as we can along the way. Because there's another optional Tails event, but they're costly. I mean, I'll try and get along the way, but Knuckles' ones were very costly. Like We had to get quite a lot to be able to, do, to see the optional events. So I wouldn't be surprised if it's even more so here. Speaking of Tails, where actually is he? He's not... He's here, okay. I was like, he's not on the path. Sonic? Do you think I can change? What do you mean, like like a tire or the tornado's engine oil? No. I mean, when I was lost in cyberspace, I was confronted by another version of myself. He said I was just a what? follower. That I couldn't think Shadow Tails is around? Own. I wanted to argue, but I couldn't bring myself to say anything back. I worry he's right and that I haven't changed at all. Whatever. Some spooky cyber copy hasn't seen you in action. I've seen it firsthand. You've definitely grown, and I know you'll keep on working hard. Hmm. So Tails' shadow is like, you're not doing good enough. There's so much shit <laughs> around. I mean, I appreciate it. Seems even more likely now. <laughs> uh, what's the routing here? I want to get that thing's attention. That was like a spaceship almost. Fifty damage, okay. I think we've done 150 damage total, call it a hunch. Yes. <laughs> I'm curious, like, for people that do level 1 runs, because that doesn't seem feasible. Like, if those kind of challenges start, do start to become near impossible. Ooh, there's another optional boss and a map. I'm curious about that optional boss. Oh, we already did this section. This is just like a playground almost, this area. Oh, I can't be the max enemies looking at me. Uh, where am I heading? This way. It's the worst infinity symbol thing I've ever done, but it counts. Oh, 
Oh, hello, Fortress. Hi. How do we even challenge you? Oh, it develops its own rails. All right, coming for you, bitch. Like I was getting ready for like more phases. Where the hell did it drop me though? Oh, we're like way over here. Actually, the boss was there, so we didn't go too far. But nature, holy shit! There is some life in this island. There's not much of it. Nice, I'll take that. So this island's not all doom and gloom. It's just that volcano is of course such a like a like an ash field everywhere that it's kind of feeling like it. Let's put the wire back. Alright, it's like he's got his feet wet. <laughs> okay, it wasn't too bad. Another tail section. I haven't even identified where a single Chaos Emerald is yet. Actually, where do I want to go? I'll go see if I can do this. I doubt it. Because we really don't have that many of the gear things. Oh, we do have enough. Oh, so it's just being more generous. What was the deal with Knuckles when I had like 170 and it was like, nah, you still need 40 more. Ideal working condition. If I just had my body, I could be so much more efficient. Amy said she felt like she was in a dream. Yeah, Knuckles said it was right? a nightmare, so what That's do you think? Pretty accurate. I can think clearly, and I'm aware, but there's no physicality to it. Everything feels just out of reach. Uh, do you think that's why the ancients made the cocoa? To have something real to put their spirits into? It's one hypothesis. We yeah, certainly yeah you might be able to make that, Sonic. The little rock things, are so they had a, um, the... Um, Ancients might have had the ability to get a physical form. Oh, and this is how you get access to the Ziggy Zaggy. Got it. I just kind of cheated it and just clicked on it from the other side. These ruins. Oh god, what's with all this? Run it back, you can figure it out. I was about to say, do you think do you think the lava is even do you think the lava is an instant kill? But I'm not sure I really want to go find out.
Fuck it. Okay, it is instant kill. Lava just ends you. Got it. <laughs> just melted this poor blue fuck. Oh, did it checkpoint me way back here? Oh, it did. Whoops. That was kind of a vicious death then. Yeah. No, um, whoops. Went straight back into it again. No. Big old Eggman base. Oh, <laughs> don't put me right back here again. Fuck. Right, the lava is a genuine threat, got it. I've now learned. Oh, whoops, I was waiting to lock a homing attack the thing. the lava. Don't get in its way. It's probably gonna be a spring. Or this. Oh, I have to scale this again, don't I? go to that island just yet. Let's go back to this thing. Right, now this time, just take the safe path across. Good thing I held my horses. How are we getting over there? Ow!
did we get over there? What the hell is that thing? What's with that as well? Oh god. I was kind of freeballing at this point, if you can if you can tell. Seeing where I end up with it. Oh, you... Look at that. Why is there a rail system going directly above the Inferno like that? That's evil. Well, before I do something that's absolutely going to get me killed. Get me the hell out of there. Oh god. Oh, now I'm back here, so I've got it in a giant circle. Uh, let's get that. You missed. Oh, bye then. again because I boosted then pressed the homing attack you tried to do that attack instead of what I wanted to do I was gonna say there's no way 90 seconds to just hit these Oh, did I hit them in the wrong order? Yeah, I hit them in the wrong order. That's why it immediately failed me. Got it. You have to, you have to touch the ground first. Is that how we get to that island? I think it is. A lot less of these treasures are actually treasures when I unlock them. A lot more of them are just pieces of puzzles. Over on this island.
Oh, there's another cyberspace level though, even if there isn't a Chaos Emerald. So it's still worth checking out. Fine, I'll do it the slow way. Hey, I've got loads of your children. Oh, all that was only for one level. You know the puzzle piece? I oh, know you actually are rewards, nice. Oh, whoops. I'm so used to him always being square, I'm pre I'm, like, I'm, uh, preemptively hit it. 400 rings. I'm going to unlock this, but I'm not going to go in it straight away because I need to go do something. So I'm just going to kind of take this as like your, your five minute break. So I just need to get on something super quick. It's the curse of doing these streams where I know they're going to be super long. There's some things I know I need to just kind of do as we go. So we're going to stand here for a sec, uh, appreciate the scenery. I uh, will be back in a few minutes.
Right, I am back. Sorry for the wait, but there, let's dive straight in the free free. Ow! Let's make a title of the tutorial and the tutorial's beating the shit out of me. Come on! Oh, this is traditional Sky Scans in Sky Sanctuary uh, modern. From our generations. Or Sky Sanctuary Act 2. Once again, 90% of these cyberspace levels are from generations, it feels like. Does that mean this shortcut still. Yeah, it is. Oh, that means this fucking evil shortcut still exists. God damn it. I've, I've realized it way too late. That evil little shortcut still exists. But I hope all them remixing so many Generations level is a sign that they're going to remaster Generations. That was like the only Color Zero Sonic game that I really enjoyed, and even then, that game still had no story whatsoever. It was just that the game was, the levels were really fun. And I imagine if this is going to be the future for their games, they're going to take a long time to release each time. So. Um, <laughs> Reducing the load and having more remasters along the way will probably help it for a lot of fans. Something to keep them occupied when we wait for like, the next big release after this kind of thing. Still waiting for an Unleashed remaster. That'd be fucking nice. Oh, it's still too early. I need to just stop... <laughs> stop trying. It's too early to be queuing for that shortcut. I can't help it, I'm a man of vision. I know that shortcut's there, and I know I used to hit it all the time in Generations. I'm going to worry about getting the red rings after the first run. Because clearly I'm taking all the shortcut routes and clearly none of the um, red rings are on this route. They put all the red rings on like the main route just, um, on this. There we go. Gonna still be breaking down on the other when you come the other way. Here it is. I, I missed that ring as well. Uh, it will no matter. Yeah, I got one. <laughs> I got one and five. Let's see if at least got the S rank. Yes. Okay. So we just need to go back through it and um, hunt down the red star rings. There's only one that I don't know the location of. But if we just don't take shortcuts, we'll be fine. Because they all seem to always be on the main road. Or in sight if you're on the main road, to be more accurate. But like instead of um, jumping off to the right, follow the path you intend. Yeah, there's the second red ring. Literally, if you take the main intended path instead. 
it kind of feels backwards that all the secret rings are in the main path. I get it, so it's like for people who like aren't inside like, the super hubs, they can still get everything kind of comfortably, but it's still a bit like put a couple of them on like optional side paths, you know? And the, one, the other one we're missing is when the um, the main um, sanctuary is breaking down, so we can just beeline for that now. Or miss the platform. Getting too overexcited gets me killed. What's new? Dude, that's my worst habit in um, any Sonic game. I get too into it and, and I get too overexcited and, and get overzealous about trying to be fast and then just die. It's my worst nemesis in, in back in Adventure 2. It's the biggest thing that got me killed was me trying to be like, oh, I thought I could cut that corner. He could not cut that corner. I'm doing it again. I'm, I'm already trying to see what I can get away with, and it's what gets me killed so much in these levels. But it's just the satisfaction of when it does, you do get away with it. It's so fun. I always chase it. Like I'm making all these risky plays just because the reward is it looks cool, <laughs> you know. I'm not going to go for that shortcut, I'll show off the other route. So they both meet at the same spot, it's just the other one's quicker if you can nail it. Alright, so this is the one we need to be careful. Gotcha. Make sure we're fast enough for this. Right, we're done. And we still got an A for all that fiddling around. So we only barely didn't get the S for that one. <laughs> how to get to that island which is above us okay so it's like on that end god as we got that way over there Through the sky, uh oh. Good, if you fuck up any of that, you just die. I love doing rails over bottomless pits, fearing for my life. That's. <laughs> That was a cool little optional section though, I liked it. I am thinking, like, all this stuff of the corruptions, like, it's like getting more, like, cyber corrupted and whatnot, is gonna lead to, like, a corrupted super form later on. Because if they're doing supersonic for the main bosses, 
Oh, okay. Uh, blood Moon. Or the equivalent of a Blood Moon, then. So enemies are going to respawn. But we get to do gambling to try and get more fishing. That's a pet trade off for surviving this. You get to gamble more fishing tokens. Which, considering there's a trade for getting all the fishes, I kind of need to pay attention to this because it's an opportunity to um, make sure I have so many fishing tokens I never need to worry about it. And I'm in an area that doesn't seem to have any enemies, so the, bl the not Blood Moon won't really seem to affect me that much. going while we're gambling. We're back over here. Oh. Okay, it's hard to tell because of all the star shards and whatnot, but we are actually like right where the em yeah, right here where the emerald is. So we can actually get on the board. I'm going to wait for night to pass before we do it, just in case like it triggers something when you get the emerald because it always seems like the chaos emeralds are what plots well that makes plot happen i don't want to be in the middle of plot and it's still like hey look at all these star lights you know like i don't want it to get in the way last one whole night, but nights don't last long in this game, so it will end sooner than you think. I've actually been paying attention if we've got any jackpots or anything. Okay, that's it. Now let's go get our emerald. Let's get on the board. It's probably going to introduce what our next major boss is going to be when we get all the emeralds, right? Oh, jeez. Seems more like Sage is more just curious at this point. Oh shit!
Can't wait to get Super Sonic and fight this thing then. This giant shield Beyblade thing. Oh shit. Oh my god. I didn't realize I was falling behind. Like that. Oh, I did fall completely behind. Shit. Okay, give me an infinite boost. be a lot more like pushy with my speed to make sure I, I stay on stay ahead of this thing. To the right. So impressive, right? Mm hmm. With unexpected parameters. Oh, she's getting slightly kinder. She's she's actually talking to us a little bit. She's not saying Fuck you, you should be dead. <laughs> like she was before. She's starting to come around. Max out on rings. There we go. Right, so I just set myself into the stratosphere for a second there. Whoa! Gotcha. We're way over here. We got dragged. We got dragged way out for this fight. <laughs> hmm. Is that thing going to come low enough? Weird.
Get here, squid. Holy shit. And that wasn't even the boss. That was that was a different mini boss. <laughs> Fucking, uh, what's the one over here then? Oh, is it you? Are you going to come over and say hi, Mr. Fortress? Sure. Oh dear. You gotta be careful, there's little rocks you can send you fly so flying. You bump them just right, you go. Oh jeez. <laughs> Oh, this shit again. Too high. Gotcha. Whoa, that had a lot of squares. Oh, so this was, it just hadn't registered yet. Oh. So I imagine this is just one giant circle like this then. I was getting this a general idea, so I'm going to go for this one next. Snowy mountainside. But it's not a volcano that will kill me very quickly. But there is a giant spider enemy it's just thinks launching me straight into. So this fight was fun. And the music was great. Yeah. It's gonna yeet me into the space and we have to build up enough energy to slam down on it.
know that was enough or anything around. Oh, it was enough. Awesome. I like biting those things. bump up my ring count though. To be fair, when you think about it, doing this is slightly kind of powerful. Because it's literally, hey, draw circles, you can regenerate your health super quick. That's basically what our ring count is in this game. Not that I'm complaining, it's kind of cool being able to just kind of bump yourself up when you need to. God, it's, there's more land way over there. How do I get over there? How do I get over to that? I had a feeling. So those rings seem in a weird space. Do you think there's anything right at the very tippy top of the mountain? It doesn't look like it. Uh, let's actually go to where I was aiming for, which is here. Get me out of this. only reason I, I kind of detoured for this. It's like, if there's more of these memory token things, I've got to take them. We're up to 91, but uh, that's not enough. After like, Knuckles' this last one was like, ow, 230 or something. No, I know that's not enough. Oh, actually, I want that. Ow, bitch. Come on. Well, 
Got to be level 69, so nice. We are the funny number. I know you've done that magooing. Let's get back down and so actually go where I wanted to go. Oh. Okay, as I say, it, it's a bridge down. Only on one side. Oh, and there's an invisible wall. Never fucking mind. The bridge is down. We have to figure out how to get this bridge forward. We can absolutely make that, but never mind. The game decided. Oh, you're way down there, Missy. I'll go talk to you when I get the chance. Sure, I'll make that the priority. So then anything we bump into along the way, we just bump into along the way. Be nice to have full boost again though. Just so we can get there quicker. I got absolutely demolished by those fucking spike traps, that was all. Okay, we're good. Oh shit! What's all this? Hang on. Other than trying to encourage me to go back to the land. Oh, I can see how we get to that now, finally. Just need to scar him up this mountain again. There we go. Also, I can see that lock on. We can get it. I noticed that there was something below us to save us if you fucked that up, so that's kind of appreciated. Alright, so that's how you get over here, so let's head to this map. Where? Oh, I'm looking in the wrong directions over here. Oh, Tetris again. Time got off the rails, eh? Hey. <laughs> oh, 
we made our Rubik's Cube. Hmm. Like, what's significant about this little island other than doing the map for it? Got a lot more spikes. My arch nemesis, it seems like. Oh, whoop. Let's just go south and look over here then, see what we can find for ourselves. Once again, did the boost. You hit boost, then go to the homing attack, the game assumes. Um, you're doing that attack instead. Oh, I missed the prompt. Wasn't expecting to get bonked so suddenly there. There really doesn't seem like there's much more other than getting more of the spanners over here. There's nothing like major significant. This isn't always a bad thing per se. Oh, there's actually there's, there's this at least. I don't know, it's like, I made all this effort to get over this little island and I'm like, I want more. <laughs> you know, I want there to be more. But it's more just more knickknacks, really. The shit you can do in this game, <laughs> I swear. Just kick off a rock and get off that. Yeah, off you go. Alright, let's get back. Oh, this is a Lost World level that they've recreated. This, this, this is that's literally the um, the rail section of a of a level from Lost World. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even realize. It's almost like I really don't commit Lost World to memory because that game's just uh, all right to me. <laughs> all right, where on earth am I actually going? I feel like I'm more. We're working down to you. I I I I'm more free balling it in this one, less because. I want to explore more because I actually have no fucking clue where I'm going. Which I suppose makes sense. It's the third island of the game. They expect you to kind of figure it out yourself a bit more now. Have a bit more confidence in your own abilities. Alright, okay, that's just... I get up. I want to get up to that. That looks cool. Are we actually at, I don't think we haven't we've touched the pillars yet. I think they're still behind us. Oh, now we're at one of the pillars. It's 
So this is just another, like, um... Like, pre-made sequence to get through here, then. Oh, okay, you're supposed to just jump for it. Oh, so, <laughs> that was a leap of faith test. I'm guessing it's another leap of faith. It is. Fuck tails. This is what I mean. You got too many. You need too many. And we can't even get this emerald. So oh, we came here way too early. Whoops. Can I like Magoo getting like 25 gears out of this? That's one. Damn. So we'll have to do all that sequence again then at some point. Unless there's a shortcut we can open up. But it doesn't look like there is. Yeah, because we need more keys for this. You are... And we need more of that to stabilize tails. Oh, well. Ah! No, 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 no. Fuck. I want to go off the thing next time. Oh shit. I didn't realize I kicked off a rock again. I've been doing that a lot in only this island. I guess it's like the rocky terrain, but it's still like, I keep doing it. I'm just like, oh, off I go. <laughs> Oh, there's a cyberspace level near me. All right, is it just gonna be another generations level or can we mix it up? Red ring, but oh, nice baseline. I'm actually not sure what, what is this from. I think it, I want. I want to say it's colors, but I'm honestly not sure. This feels colors, to be fair. Yeah, I think this is um, Sweet Mountain that is referencing from Sonic Colors. Alright, we missed most of those red rings, but we can go back and look around. Did we get the S rank at least? We did not! By three seconds. I'm 
just going to try and go for the speed test quick. Is this pre pre done section again? Oh shit. Well, now we're back. As a motorbike. Yeah, we wasted way too much time. Thanks, motorbike. I keep on trying to do that in one cycle, but I haven't got the I haven't felt out the timing yet, just to try and cut that corner. There we go. Ow. Oh, it makes you do the full cycle if you fuck it up. Okay, so you do need to nail all of that climb. It's definitely a Sweet Mountain level then, because Sweet Mountain is very fucking annoying with that shit. Sonic Colors is mostly pre-scripted sequences in 2D levels. And then randomly throwing a fucking piece at you, it's like you have to hit it perfect or you have to do the whole thing again. It's like, oh, great. Let me just restart that, I'm not feeling that one. Good, I can't remember how much left of this level. There we go. Now we can worry about getting those two red rings so I can take it slow. I know where one was because we keep on going straight over the head of it. So it's just not taking the shortcut path and seeing the normal path and seeing what we end up with. Found that one. There's that one. Okay, now we can just finish.
this bit turns out it's probably not even a Sonic Colors level. It's just that if this is like a linear level with a lot of like set pieces and then having a climb, I'm only ever going to think of um, Sweet Mountain. But I just don't commit Sonic Colors to memory. A lot of the Colors era games outside of Generations, I just don't commit the level design to memory. So I just, I usually don't play them that much. I don't find them anywhere near as fun as some of the classics. Meanwhile, like Sky Rail or Green Forest or Radical Highway, I recognize that shit like immediately by name. Because they're from like games I grew up with and so have fonder recollection of. Fuck, now we can go get that one. We can go get that white one right up the top of that fucking tower. I can't remember how close we were, so I'm going to try and get to 130 memory tokens. Then I'll go back up and get that white emerald. So we can get the tail um, seen as well. break from this. I was going to say, can I just go get that one underneath, please? Oh, we, we will anyway, never mind. kind of free balling again. It's, it's, it's my worst nightmare in this game, but I think that should be a testament to how fun this is. That I keep doing that. That I'm not 100% like, oh, I must focus on the story. I just want to fuck around. And the fact that the game keeps up that desire for me, I'm constantly wanting to just kind of mess around and see what I get, is, it, is worth commending. It's highlighting how ridiculously fun this game actually is. I can't stress enough how happy I am that this is going to be the template for future Sonic games. They made it very clear this is going to like define the next like decade of Sonic. They want this to be like the next era, like this whole Frontiers era sort of thing. And it's like if that's the case then damn hell yeah, the only way is up. This game is sick. the laser wall shit over here. Hang on. This could be supposed to be a 2D section, but I've hopped on part way, so the game's gonna let me do it in 3D. <laughs> Let's get this map. Nice. I'm still curious about the fact that this third time is supposed to be the last one. So like, what's the fourth and fifth going to be about? Oh, and there's our boss puzzle. That's what that symbol means. That means that's the boss puzzle. So once we've got all the emeralds, then we can do that.
Nice, we can go back to Tails. I think we're, we're probably good. I know it's not one first, like I said, it is, but I think it, it, it was around here. Swirly rail. I almost kind of want to get on it just to see how it goes. Oh, it's over there, wasn't it? I was going to say, where was the thing to get on top of that? Cause let's get this out of the way now. Yeah, I see it. It's over here. boost we can just get over there. I can do this cycle cycle again. But this time you can actually get it done. I get why the game has the two different springs. It has these more traditional red springs and it has like all the futuristic modern ones. These, those ones that we're on now. It's because these more futuristic looking ones you can lock onto, whilst the classic springs you can't. So you have to actually rely on them and hit them if you're going, if you're going to use them for anything. Whilst them, I can homing attack. Oh, this is the leap of faith, yep. So there is reason to have both the classic and modern springs. Yeah, I think it's not the last proper section. Yes. You are. Hey! Oh, come on. We've picked up way more than that. All right, seven, six. So 137 you need for this then. Five. So we've got this little left. I might as well just do this to grind it out. And the fact that the game lets you do this is pretty cool. So you don't have to grind and do the whole thing again. So I'm not doing this a third fucking time. It's such a long section. And it's, like, it's, get, it's not just giving us springs, I mean, it gives us a little bit of experience. It gives us a little bit. It gives us like a blue gem to boost our defense later. Four more. I know why this is like this. This is this is the bit which is showing where the kids can still play it. If they don't want to grind for something. There's an alternative. My thumb is starting to hurt though. Hey tails. Sonic, what were you just doing? Oh, don't worry about it, man. But Sonic, it looked like you were just running in circles. Yeah, Because fine. we detected the Chaos Emeralds were drawn here. Did you figure something out? I'm trying to put the pieces together. The Ancients technology was built specifically for the Chaos Emeralds and runs on their power. All of the Starfall Island systems, even cyberspace, were in a kind of standby mode without the Emeralds to power them. Once the power supply was restored, though, Someone would have had to boot up the systems and get them running. Hmm. I think I can guess who. Hmm. 
Let's get our emerald. And this time, not miss that launch pad. <laughs> to see where it's actually supposed to center us. We need to get that that bridge hasn't lowered yet, so until we can, we can't do that. Oh, that's what this, this what this what this launches you to. I saw these spinning spikes. Now I'm down on the base. Let's go up and explore up here because we haven't done that yet. How are we getting around? Either way, just find a way around this thing. Oh, it's this mountain, right. So I can just kind of go up and over. Let me just uh, magoo, magoo my way up. Oh, I've got the ice is super slippery. Right, got it. away from me. Hey! Oh, no, 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 no. I remember that bit. Man, hit a random rock again. <laughs> Oh, this is like an abandoned death egg robot. It literally is, damn. I wonder if someone's gonna comment on it if I if I get to the head. Cause he should, it's a death egg robot. That's not something you should just, you know, not notice. Oh, it's fucking jump rope, what? Playing Mario Party again. God, this line just keeps going. Oh, this is also a locked puzzle, so it's going to be several puzzles involving the um, boss later on then. Oh, this is a Sonic. This is from Forces. They fucking reference forces? Oh, the, ugh. <laughs> this is specifically a forces row, which is why it's got one eye. Oh, 
whoops, got over overzealous again. Cyberspace level? Let's go check that in a sec. Six. All right, give me a not generations level. <laughs> Challenge level from generations. There's a whole bunch of little challenge levels in the game that will like sort things like this. Oh, whoops. Sometimes, like, having the boost giving you extra height is great. Other times, the boost giving you extra height is your death. It's okay, I've recovered it. Okay, never mind. I recognize this, though. It might even be an Unleashed Act too. Unleashed did have them. Just they were only ever like challenge mini levels that you never actually had to do. This might be an Unleashed challenge level. It just feels really familiar. And I haven't done the challenge levels in Generations uh, since Generations came out, so I'm not going to really remember them. Once Unleashed, I've 100 percent that game many a fucking times over the years. And it's, I think it might be that. I think what's confusing me is that this challenge level in Unleashed was way harder. Not with the pits, because I can fall into them, but there was like spikes literally everywhere, so you had to be like super precise in all your jumps and movements. Which is why there's no rings in this level so far. Yes, yes, this is absolutely in Unleashed, because I remember this is rooftop runs, um, Act 2. As soon as I saw this bit, I was like, yeah, because the whole point of this level is that you do three laps, but I imagine in this version you're only going to do one. Oh no, you're going to do the multi all the laps. Interesting. Yeah, this is absolutely unleashed. As soon as I saw that section, I was like, I, I remember doing this because it's three laps. And yeah, each time things change. Now we're at the end of lap two, so doing this again. Oh fuck. Oh god. Alright. There's gonna be a shut up and focus from me because this is absolutely one of the challenge levels from Unleashed. And unlike, you know, Generations' challenge levels, Unleashed's challenge levels were actually pretty fucking tough. This is nerfed. This is nerfed. They're like, there is a lot less forgiveness and a lot more spike traps in the original. But this is appreciated. I like a bit more Unleashed Love. This 
the music's nice. Well, not that that's new, but at least the music's nice once I figure this out, because it's gonna we're gonna be here for a minute. Because it is the three laps, and now we're on lap two. Oh shit. So you have to go up and over that one, for fuck's sake. I probably don't have to reset and I can just reset from the checkpoints and still hit the timer, but no. It's my pride on the line. I did this. There was no checkpoints in the original challenge version and I did it, so <laughs> I can do it again. I tried, tried the course correct too much, didn't need to. The only thing with those boosters is that um, it will pick up your input before you actually completely touch it. So like, if you're like just about to graze it and you've already like, like me, press boost again, it also fails it. Which is why like in some of those you I reset like before it even registers my input because I know it's not going to take it. And as the boost gives me a slight extra height, I wish it didn't sometimes. I think that's the only thing I hope they change. Like, really big thing I hope they change in the next game. Make it so if you're already going up, then sure, have the boost give you a little extra air. But if you're descending and you boost, I don't think you should, like, get a bounce up. Because it causes more problems. Sometimes when I'm boosting, so I'm only you know, an inch off the ground. And I'm like, oh yeah, I'll hit the ground and then just carry on. I don't. I just fucking take off and then miss something. Then once again, there's a lot of little things in this game, and I'm like, this game's only just come out. Is there anything in like the physics or logic of the game they might change in patches? We don't know. Can I just go over? No, you have to. Now I'm trying to get all the red rings in one run as well, because screw doing this any more times than I need to. That said, if I get the timer but miss a red ring, at least we'll be fine, because I can get the other later. <sighs> nearly saved. Nearly. Alright, lap three. Yeah, I remember that shit. Oh, I overshot it for a second there. Oh, you bitch! And that's the three laps. Okay, please tell me the time is generous. We are okay, we're good. Putting in unleashed challenge levels. And I said in the original version that was way harder because you, firstly you didn't have checkpoints and secondly there was way more spike traps. And you didn't have as many things to homing attack on to save your ass. It was very um, meticulous. That was a cool one. I said the only reason it took me so long was because my pride was on the line. I had to hit it in one because I hit it in one in the past. Well, I've hit the harder version in one. Now let's go talk to the kid. Since she seems slightly more willing to talk to us. 
So I think I've figured it out. The Coco are the spirits of the ancients, aren't they? What if they are? Huh. I've run into my fair share of spirits who stick around because of their regrets. Sometimes I've been able to help them move on. Hmm. Just how long have they endured like this, though? Were we brought here to help them finally find peace? Why ask me? Because I feel like you might be in the same boat. And if so, I'll help if I can. Yes, yeah, so she's not resisting as much. She's not seeing us as the enemy. She's actually prepared to engage in conversation. In Island 1, she just went, stop talking to me. Leave me alone. Get off this island. So I came going, no! I want to know what's going on here, and I want to save my friends. Oh, the map thing's here. Okay. There's another island over there? The fuck? Oh, and that's where our red emerald is. Oh, that was the emerald. Actually, that was the island we was aiming for ages ago, so that makes sense. So we need to figure out how on earth we're getting to that, though. This is this shit in the sky here, so... Oh, that's literally just on its own floating. There's no noticeable route over to it. Unless that's what you're for. Hey. Just dies and hits to fly. Oh, never mind. Get over there then. Hmm. The plot thickens, so we have to figure that one out as we go. And this is locked, but I can at least go check it to see what's on, what's going on. Oh, are we gonna fiddle with this Move robot on. to make it build our bridge? That'd be cool. That would actually be pretty, it's pretty sick. And we still don't know what this, like, deep AI voice is, or the voice in Sonic's head that keeps on talking to us on occasion. Oh my god, look at the thing in the bottom right, I just wrote it says 99 plus. 
See, it's the problem. <laughs> the skill tree needs to be bigger. <laughs> Oh, manual saves, it's been a bit. Okay, gotta go to sleep. Yeah, no worries, dude, you chill. Thanks for popping in. Get this, hang on. Well, that wasn't my intention, but that worked out. So it's more appreciated since we need, seemingly need a million to get what we need. Damn. Nearly had that perfect. Oh, nice. I just <laughs> the mind his own business. I immediately just got the thing. Oh, so sorry for the bastard. Right, let's get this emerald. That's free. So following the usual logic, there's one more to find in the field, and then two more from helping out our side character of the of the island. And the only other one is on that island over there, so we probably have to start whatever's going on with Tails in the, in the first place. At least that's my hunch. Because we'll probably hack machines or some shit to let us in. Oh, you have to jump the wall, got it. I was like, well, I can't go around this. You're not supposed to. Is there a map thing over here? Actually, hang on. It looks like this is just a crap ton of dead space in this area. 
Yeah. There's different maps elsewhere that do that. Oh shit, be careful. The mountainside, Sonic. Let's get out of here. Fucking Christ. <laughs> Tails is there. I want to go talk to our little friend, so I'm going to go beeline for that. I know it's not on the opposite fucking end of the map, but I want to go for that. Kicking off of things is more fun than it should be. <laughs> the amount of times I keep on kicking off a of shit and just going wild with it, it's like, no, this is way too fun for its own good. This bit, okay, I don't know where we are. We're at this fucking place again, where we started and we entered here. Is that where she is? Well, the map, the map, I can bring up the map in this section, too closed off, I imagine. Or too, like, it's all descriptive sequencing and whatnot. No, she's off it down here. We did never do this bit because we left twice. so close how about helping me out i have run the simulations sharing data will not change the outcome you're always talking about odds and simulations but we living beings don't live by calculations the will to live the drive to achieve the desire to protect the ones you love that kind of thing can grant a power you can't imagine love can be converted into power do you have any data to back this proposed conversion? Uh, nope. That's what makes it miraculous. But if you really need proof, I'll whip you up a miracle by the end of all this. You'll see. <laughs> uh, sorry, did you know what just came into my head? You probably would. Oh fuck! You probably already know what it was. It's like. Why don't you back that up with a source, Sonic? The source is I made it the fuck up. <laughs> That's what that was. Alright, let's bump up our levels. Nice. So 
Yours is there, and then we can do that when we get there as well. Oh, Shinobi respawned. Right, because we had the Blood Moon. Oh, goodbye, goodbye, Shinobi. The grey objective mark is pointing me to where plot tail plot tails is, but that's that can wait. You know me, I always want to see what I can get away with first before I worry about the details. Bitch. What you got to say, my two-tailed friend? Give to study this ancient technology properly. Hmm. It doesn't look like this was a projectile weapon. Uh, so no ancient cannonballs then, huh? Wait. Are you saying this is a beam weapon? It's like more like references, like on the egg carrier. From what I can tell, it has its own battery, independent of an outside power source. Moreover, with how much they're referencing Adventure, I wonder if that's next. If they're going to remake Adventure one or two. Eclipse Cannon Arc. Yeah, they're referencing the Adventure games a lot. The ancient designs are amazing. Yeah, that's cool and all, but. I mean, they built these things to shoot at something. Wow, what kind of enemy takes that much firepower to stop? I right, just played jump rope. Oh, this one's a lot slower. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> I always find the harder variant of these new challenges first before I find the easier ones. <laughs> cool. Oh, there's another mini boss over there. Oh, this map layout is kind of weird. There's a big hole here, a big hole here with the volcano. All these scattered remains of the. Uh, Go down and fight this thing, whatever it may be. Drop. <laughs> oh shit. Not that much, not that much, not that much. Get me back out of there. Oh, it's another Spidey boy.
From into space. I keep missing that one because of um, lock ons. Oh, that's two I've missed. Just enough. Now he's gonna try and get away from me. Oh, you can cancel out of it, interesting. Oh, there is something there. I was like, I noticed on the mini map that there was something in that general direction. Let's get over there. We did this. Did I just not get that when we were there? Yeah, I guess not. First. Yo, Tails. Can you tell if there's anything special about the ruins with this symbol? I can't be sure without a proper analysis, but it doesn't seem remarkable. What is remarkable is the data retention after all these years. The corruption is negligible, and the maps are so accurate. Hmm. Not to mention the way they can imprint the map data directly into the user's mind. It's hard enough explaining yourself to your peers, let alone some long-distance civilizations. Yeah, too bad they can't give us all the answers to the island's mysteries. You're right, though. It's pretty amazing to have a civilization based on brain power. Okay. There's, an, there's another one somewhere for the lowest plate platform, got it. Oh, that's the highest, so there's another one I'm missing then. I get it. Is that you can't do a full side loop around it unless you have all the platforms. Got it. And this is the one from the map. Got it. Yep. <laughs> I understand the objective now. <laughs> nice. Yeah, and there's the fishing six. We found we came here super early for the fishing. Realized that I was completely off the beaten track and then left. Fucking vision. I want to see if the um, the map shortcut really does just get you out of here. D 
Oh, I like that with the camera. <laughs> Alright, it's now from the super rail, we're now over here. It doesn't continue linking here, okay. Go through the Lost World section again, super quick. Mainland. So I'm going to aim for the main plot objective and just see what we figure out now. There's clearly a lot we're missing, but <laughs> a lot of it we straight up just can't do, it feels like yet. So we definitely can't get that red emerald yet, it feels like. I feel like we need to get Tails in on it. There's only another map marker here that we're missing. That's just the north point on the map, I think. Oh, Tails, are you going to make me go all the way around for you? You are as well. Whoa, shit. Oh, okay, that's not helpful. God damn, I'm just looking at the background. Getting distracted, the game's too beautiful. Okay, map's not helpful, good to know. Oh, hello, other squid. Sure, I'll quickly go fight you. We start on this island. I was like, oh, map thing? No, that's on that hell. No, it's on here, sorry. Should have probably done that. That was an optional scene, not the main one we're here for. Because yeah, this one's going to show us right down to the bottom of the mountains. So of course it does. This just takes us right back up it. Here you are, Tails. We're at a pretty high altitude. It's hard to say how high due to all the clouds. Any higher, and we'd risk Angel Island bumping into us. Hmm. Pretty harsh conditions for anyone to be living and working under. Ancients must have had a reason for coming up here. Given the infrastructure, I don't think this was a residential area. It seems more like military front lines. First strike position, huh? I mean, those cannons aren't just for show. With everything we've seen, just what kind of enemy were they preparing for?
There really isn't another map thing here, huh? We're banking a lot that this one will be... Will, like, cover a lot of this, then. I'm not seeing any come up on the compass, that's all. give you so much time probably so you can kind of stare at it to figure it out if you're struggling but I'd rather just run it out and figure it out from there oh and there's a cyberspace level here I also had a feeling <laughs> at least we found it hey this one's number one's number 69 the internet's favorite number Oh shit, okay, never mind. Bye, Sonic. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I think that was like the biggest example, like, biggest moment of jank we've had all playthrough. Like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> I digress. Sonic just went wonky along it, and eventually it was just enough to skew Sonic's position off it. Thankfully, the game's got a good auto-corrector. It didn't, like, lock us in the 2D down somewhere we weren't supposed to. The game realised we weren't there anymore, and so, like, dislocked us. Three, five. Let's see what this one's a reference to. Come on. Speed highway. Oh, this is another Unleashed Challenge level. The racing one. And this is also the only instance of drifting we're probably going to get in this game. One day we'll get drifting back. Properly. Pepperish Farm remembers when drift was a natural part of Sonic's moveset. It is got some clunkers hell scripting. We've got the red rings and in that timer later. Oh shit. Okay, they're a little bit more reasonable. If you're not boosting. And that's what... Oh, that's what the green pads mean. The green pads mean you're going into drift zone. So if I jump them, I can just do that. Which would be way quicker. Yeah, I'd much rather do this. Than worry about the drift pads when they're so unruly. Unless there isn't any, then I'll play by its rules. Let me guess, under a minute. Oh no, we got the S. Minute five. Oh, it's close though. Alright, two Unleashed Challenge levels. I don't mind that. Right, 
like to actually let's go do the plot a little bit and let's actually go talk to Tails. Oh, we interrupted the animation, I think. Oh, okay, this is this bit. Again, another 2D section that I've kind of jumped in late, so I got to cheat it. So I wanted that. Alright, Tails. The fuck do we- how do we get to you? Try and figure out. I think we need to figure out how to get on that and then jump down. I think mean, it's the other way around. It's not hop, get to the small piece, it's um, get to the big piece and work down. Maybe? It looks like there's no real approach to that thing. There isn't. Uh... launches you that way, it doesn't launch you in this direction. No, 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 no. It's also at a gate. I can get like a, I could probably magoo it and trick up it, but like if I get a good boost off that. Just when this inevitably goes wrong and I die, I can just load that. Like case in point. Walk around that, so we need to like really fucking take off. Doorbell just went one minute, guys.
back. Okay. My strategy's dumb. I shouldn't be keen to try and do this. This clearly isn't the way they expect you to get there. If I could make it so I really fucking like just go skyward, then yeah, we could do it, but no. There's something I'm clearly missing. Problem is, I don't know what. But we can't proceed until I find it, so... Hmm. So that bridge is down, so until we can figure out how to get that down, that's out of, out of order as well. That's clearly the way down, that's why that ramp's there. So there's something behind it. Is it just a straight leap? Or is that like a two-way portal? I need to find the other one. That just shoots me to that, no. Figured it out, we're good. Oh, that's death. I was going to explain how you survived. Oh no, you're a hologram. Of course you survived. They don't even probably didn't even realize you. Back on line tails. What? Oh, now what more background are we going to see? Oh, artwork. Then <laughs> the. Oh, we're actually seeing the war. Yeah, and something came back just as harsh. And eviscerated them. Uh. 
The ancients set up all that military might and they still were eviscerated. So, that was a thing. Whatever assaulted the island sure packed a punch. That was on par with Fucking Dark Gaia wow, Dark Gaia. <laughs> Just reference on these. Pronto. Agreed. We'll rendezvous later. Yeah, and there's your hey, you can now move that to get around some of the items you couldn't before. Yeah, get up to that. Nice dog <laughs> nice unleashed reference, they know. <laughs> they know unleashed is actually goated, got it? <laughs> of course that counts for the infinite boost. As long as there's two circles next to each other, the game the game says, yeah, that works. Oh, no, 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 okay, that's just a separate thing. So I was gonna say, hey, you could probably use this. Look, it's an assault model death egg robot. It looks pretty entrenched. I'll take a look around. Let me know if you find anything. <clears throat> you don't see something like this every day. These things are tough to take down, even for me. I wonder what took it out. Maybe that ghost girl. Hey, Sonic, I found a remote control panel. It's still online. Well, let's see what Eggman was trying to do with this thing. And if it goes bad, you can shut it off. <laughs> yeah, you could just shut off the death robot, it's fine. Oh god, we're playing a hacking minigame. There are two different decks out there. Light shot and dark shot. Counts of the program's attack by matching the colors of the program shots. Until we'll fit, fill the homing laser meter and then L2. This is cool. This is fun. And in the top left is how many like lives we have, so we only have two rounds of this. I hope there's more of them in the game because that's fun. Well, I imagine that's this is just this area is like one and done mini game. Instead of it being the Cocos, we're doing like hacking stuff. But that was fun. Not quite what I envisioned, but it will do. I was like, Sonic, you just destroyed a punch of this chunk of his land. <laughs> yeah, it's going to lead to a cave system that'll take us over there, I assume. Woo, that did the trick. Yep, it revealed a subterranean pathway. Be careful, though. Whatever took out that super badnik might still be lurking around. I hear that. Thanks, buddy. I'll see you later. So let's play along.
it. You only take damage if you hit the ground. So if you can interrupt that at all, you're good. Whether it's landing on a rail or a spring instead or anything really. As long as you interrupt, you're, you're fine. Holy shit. Oh, and there's like the the Zal. What is this? Like a like a fucking space fortress? Is that what this Zal thing is? They were the race that come and annihilated all of them. And it's like a giant evil like space fleet. The only problem is that because of the buttons it's on, it's so easy to accidentally do it. slowed us down. More platforming shenanigans. I just thought they, like, they seemed slightly brighter and they just took my attention. Where are we now? Oh, we're finally on this island, so let's go get the map Doesn't data. Look like a lighthouse. A lookout tower, maybe? Hmm. Oh, I guess we've got to scale it, because I imagine this will be get on top of it. Oh, we have to... Okay. this is all here just for this challenge or whether this is always here because i'm seeing a lot of coins that like are out of the uh, like boundary so to speak so i'm curious if a lot of that shit's gonna go or if it's just you get it on your way back down kind of thing nice that's not all the map chunks yet clearly How many ways left? Oh, there's just more of this chaos in here somewhere. There's more purple coins. Hey, no, 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 no. Get me off. Get me off. Let me off. Please. 
Please, let me go! <laughs> game just trying to hold me hostage. Oh, we've got this. We Now we've got our, I assume, easy way across. I don't want to take it yet, but I want to check. Yeah, that does a few loop-de-loops and goes on its own way over there. Let's get this. So I think that's the last of the like shrine emeralds. So all that's left are the uh, plot emeralds. Gosh, I shouldn't skip these because these are special animations. I think this is back there. We still need to get to this bit. That's probably for the boss. It'd be great if I could get access to quick travel. Oh, I digress this again. Get this and head back. But this is the kind of height I wanted when I was trying to solve that thing earlier. To just take off to the skies. that island. Potentially, I'm not sure. Let me take, let me hop off and then actually fucking hang on. Let's go back to that island, and I think there's a break-off path. So let's go back on the, the Mega Rail. That's what I'm calling this from now on. Oh, maybe we haven't been on this. I don't think we've been here. Oh, it's a knife, a starfall thing again, isn't it? Yep. Hey. Oh, 
we have done we have been here I just didn't explore we're not on that island oh, we went straight past it god damn it If um, the Star Wars happens on like an old map, does it respawn the big titans as well so you can rematch them? I suppose the real answer would be once you beat the main game, if there's like a post game and then you can go rematch them, it's like a harder variant, that'd be cool. So there's still that there, yes, yeah, all these guys are respawned now. Uh, Oh, look at the fucking rainbow show zipping through here. I said not that I needed to do that because that's main tails. No, get me the fuck off this. It's trying. <laughs> I saw that and I was like, okay, it's trying. It's being a little cheeky fucker. Now it's a Coco, so we'll start leaving the mini games. Yo. Hey, this Coco is an apprentice to their top pilot. They need to find the parts to complete their final weapons. I'm sure you've run into this scenario already. What did you do? I helped them out. But isn't that cruel? Their battle is long over. This feels dishonest. We're not fixing the problem they think they have, but we are bringing them peace. Well, when you put it that way, let's get to work. Where's he got to? Oh, he's gone way over there. So annoying, there's still so much of the map we haven't got to check. Like, what's here? Because we haven't found like a map icon because we can't reach that fucking one. Oh yeah, you respawned, of course you did. Hello, squid. Not interested, bye. I had to wait for the thing to give up first. We need a few more pieces, but we're having trouble finding them. 
Gotcha. Be right back. Break boxes collect machine parts. 600 parts before timer runs out. Oh my god! Okay, so you can't use any of your special techniques, got it. You just got a homing attack. That's what I kept on trying to do. I kept on trying the homing attack and the game's having none of it. I'm trying to do a special skill even. pretty better that way because I wouldn't have realized to have to come back. Hurrying up. Uh oh. Should be kind of close to the mark, I realize. Yeah, nice. Okay, that was actually kind of close. Yeah, give me my emerald. So we still need to lower that bridge. Are they really trying to justify that shit? Whoa, what? Listen to me. The others are counting on you. I'm here to help. So don't they're trying to justify that whole Sonic help bullshit from um, from forces. Oh, I see. Trying to say that it was just he lost him for a moment. Tails. Want to talk? Not right now. Let's just focus on finding the emeralds. Oh, they're trying to spin it into. Like Tails is kind of having his own little moral dilemma, and Infinite just kind of worn him down. Also, there's your one and hopefully only reference to Infinite you're gonna get. Hang on, I'm still missing an emerald in the. I think I'm still missing an emerald in the field. Oh god, I didn't want really to do this bit again. This one's the dangerous one.
hoping I will find something to help me find more of those map pieces by doing more of this stuff with Tails. Yeah, it's not exciting to feel hey. it. Almost done here. Can you take our friend and find a couple more parts? Yeah. Can do. Yeah, that he's worn down. <laughs> Tails, what, can you not notice that Sonic's like? Uh oh. Yay! I was like, stay still, will ya? Data to back up my observations. Your loyalty is founded on empirical data. I can appreciate that. The feelings he inspires in you and the others. Is that a facet of being alive? And yet all your love and loyalty will amount to nothing. It cannot be prevented. What are you talking about? Perhaps it is kinder if you don't know. Ooh. She's gone from I won't talk to you because you're the enemy to perhaps it's for your for your best. It's for the best we don't tell you. She really thinks we're all fucked. Oh, no, that's the leave, that's the mega rail. Yeah, he looks like slowing down even more. He's exhausted. What is your end goal? Eh, it varies. Sometimes it's a spinning sign, sometimes it's a big old. Sh oh, shut up, no. Sonic. I mean, what do you want to accomplish? Oh. <laughs> I'll give him that. That was funny. Yeah, sometimes it's a sign, sometimes it's a ring. My and you're sure that is why? Kind of the story of my life. And the voice that commands you. What if it is leading you to disaster? If they want to start trouble, I'll stop them too. You certainly make it sound simple. But your arrogance will be your undoing. Look, either stop being cryptic and tell me what's going on or skedaddle. There would be no point. Nice find. Take it on over to Tails. I'm gonna keep moving. <laughs> and it just starts rolling. Meanwhile. I have found a possible scenario for your escape. It's about time. Report. After reviewing your entire I say, rely on history, Sonic, yep. I have found the most optimal course of action is to create an alliance with Sonic. What? But together, you stopped the Ark, overcame Neo Metal. You. I don't want to hear it. Those alliances were purely out of desperation. But time is running out. Adventure two and heroes. Don't hear it. Yeah. Find me another option. Your tenacity is legendary, but I do wish you'd reconsider. Oh shit. Finally, gonna see what this kid can do. I've lost count of how many times you've saved me from the hazards here. It is my function. 
I live to serve. You've exceeded your function. I'm very impressed with you, Sage. No, I'm proud of you. Hmm. That, that, that warmed my heart a little bit. Like, so I know it's just references, but it's acknowledgement as well, I think is the thing. Because there's so much lore, so much history of Sonic that hasn't been touched upon or acknowledged or referenced or anything since forever, you know? Like, they've never brought up Neo Metal since Heroes. They've never brought up the arc, like, since, like, Own Shadow, you know? They just don't bring up the past at all. It's like, it's nice to actually... I don't want to see you fight you again. It's nice to actually see, like, continuity. It's nice to see it actually mean something and connect. It's really refreshing. This game's writing cares. Oh, this is optional, I think. I then we'll analyzed the cyberspace portal the last time you were accessing it. While you were online, it opened up a flood of data. It was way too much to process, but I did get a glimpse of the ancient's personal data. Oh, so... What, you know all their birthdays now? <laughs> so, Sonic. <laughs> much more than that. Sonic, it was their very essences. Their hopes, their dreams. Everything that made them what they were. Do you see the correlation? It sounds a lot like what happened to you, Amy, and Knuckles. I mean, I'm glad you're all intact, but... Why were you all uploaded like that? And I got my trophy, so we just need to find all the map pieces. That's this the last. Um, that's the trophy for the last cyberspace unlock. All right, referencing. What is it going to be this time? Lost world. I think. Absolutely, I think. He was saying I think after absolutely because it's like I, I, I and Lost World's another game I haven't played since like since its release. But it's still super like that water vortex from um, Lost World. Especially because the music's also giving me that vibe. It feels Lost Worldy. I mean, it's still techy, but it's, it feels more Lost Worldy. Okay, be like 120 for this um, for the um, S. Hey, it was 120. Nice. <laughs> into the mess a little bit and just kind of keep an eye on my compass see if I can actually find these maps uh, we've already fought you because you got the star on you so I'm just starting so all I'm doing is keeping an eye on the compass at the top of the screen to see if um, a map symbol shows up. No, 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 get me, no. Nope. 
negative thing because that's t t taking me towards an enemy. Oh, this might actually be Tails getting me across that bridge though, so I'll take it. Fought you. Oh, you're the buddy. Okay, I say, hey, there's someone to pick up. No, 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 that's different. <laughs> Leave that one alone. Tails is thinking about what's safe. Am I a burden to you? Wow, and how did you come to this well thought out concern? <laughs> Whenever there's a crisis, I'm either running away or standing on the sidelines. You are always rescuing me when all I do is follow you around. Who was it who stopped Eggman from blowing up Station Square? Sonic uh, Adventure reference. Ah! Prison or saved me from the Deadly Six's trap. Nos world. I, then I'm wildly inconsistent. They are trying to explain away the whole freak out we had in Infinite with them forces. Dude, relax. Hmm. You've got brains like Eggman, speed like me, and can fly with your butt. It's okay if you still need help sometimes. That's just part of growing up. Hmm. Huh. When did you get to be so insightful? I have my moments. <laughs> they say the bridge is out. I'm sure we can fix that. I'll have a look around. Ian Flynn needs to be involved in the writing team of every single Sonic game moving forward. End of. Oh shit. What the fuck? Cross the river to operate the drawbridge controls and make the bridge. Reach the other bank within the time limit. I did get clipped on the way down. I just realized I got a health pile less. Please. That's the one I was trying to lock onto the whole fucking time. <laughs> Wasting your time. Put me down. Oh, thank goodness. I was like, well, stop doing the spinning shit. Just put me down. <laughs> nice. So he just said, I was. He did, we just had to wait for plot. I was, I was kind of right. I was like, uh, this feels like a Tails thing. And it was... I was expecting to hack something, though. Not us playing a minigame to get across, but whatever. Clear! And it's going to give us a Chaos Emerald for the trouble. Yep. I'm going to get to see his SNES little dance. I love that animation. That's so much fun. I still think 
I'm missing an emerald, though. Way to go. Your hero will be thrilled with all your hard work. And then he's gonna hollow up. Yep. And that warning sign appears again. And I'm proud of you. Don't forget that. I won't. Alright, let's finally go explore this island. This smidge of an island. We are missing, yeah, we are missing an emerald, so we've still got a bit to do. Oh no, no, we're not. We're, I just, I remembered. The boss has the last one. So we're actually, we're done. Okay, it is night time, so what we got for me? There it is. It's just behind the rock. I didn't spot it. There we go. So I really am missing shit in here. I mean, I kind of gathered I was, but you know what I mean? I really am just missing. There's just a big something in here that I am missing to fill up that map. temples I've been in, this one might be the coolest. Hmm. <laughs> ah, oh, and here's the other fortress location. Got it. And it's the one that you don't unlock, you just get for free. Free seven.
classic um, chemical plant generations. Yeah, absolutely, generations again. I think that's the only thing. If they decide to do the whole subspace, some cyberspace thing again, which to be honest, I kind of hope they don't. This is fine as a one-off, but I think if they kept on doing it, it would start to raise eyebrows. But if they do something like this again, please, for the love of God, let generations go. Reference other shit. <laughs> Music's great as always, though, but it's like, come on. Oh, this, that platform's just there so our spider friend can hang. We're always building up. And it's just gonna end now. Oh, oh, oh that tracks. Oh, come on! I wanted to hit more of that track. Oh, we're going in again anyway, since we fucked up not one but two objectives. Find that bigger map. Where's map? <sighs> I don't want to start the next boss because I, I, I want to wrap up soonish. So we won't start the next boss, but I do want to find the last map and get the whole map cleared out. Because next thing is boss work, I, I believe. I think there's something there, and there's something in this that I'm missing. Almost like proper check around the perimeter sort of thing. So it might even be like down here or something. Oh, I want to see if it give me a percentage on it or not. I 
I was spinning that, I'm doing it for the compass, so I can try and see where this map spot might be. Tails will say something. Sonic is exhausted, though. Feeling better? Yeah. This whole experience gave me a kind of clarity. When this is all over, I think I need to go it alone for a while. I can't grow into my full potential if I always fall back on you. If that's okay. <laughs> You're free to go your own way. I guess you just blew up on me a little faster than I expected. Saying I outpaced you? Yeah, don't push it. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> it takes some getting used to, but here's to you reaching new heights, partner. Is this them actually setting up that like in the next game Tails won't be there? Hmm. Oh, she's gonna choose her own family. What's with this music? <laughs> it doesn't feel as earned as they think they. I think they think it is. Of her accepting a difference between her and Eggman. Sorry. It's a very, very charming scene. I don't think it's as earned as they think it is, but it's, it's, it's a charming scene. It's her reflecting and realizing she cares. Oh, Her own corruption is, and, like, darkness is starting to fade. Fucking harsh cut. Okay, bye. Yeah, next is that to get him to do the plot. I'm gonna put that there so it's on the fore like forefront of my mind, and then I'm gonna try. There's got to be a way over there. No, no, no. Get me the fuck out of that. I hope I can make that. <laughs> I'd already really committed. Oh, it's this shit. We was actually trying to figure this out earlier, wasn't we?
the reason it's got an optimistic flair to it because we've done the story arc. So the, um, the island themes always depend on how far you are along the side character's story more than anything. Okay, so that's not the intended way, but there is some a path we can build. That's not the intended way at all, but there is a path we can probably build. But it's like it's, it's annoying. It's like in between everything, and all the paths I try and take just circle around it and don't really acknowledge it. And it's like there must be a way. Go this way, actually. This will be slightly quicker, I think. This doesn't connect to that. You can see. Alright, I tried to be fancy. Game was not having that. Okay, we, we figured it out. I was wondering, it felt like that there was a link, there's a correlation with that enemy being there. Is that it for the map? Almost. We've been on this island? When? How? And where? Oh. There it is, finally marked. We can go get that, and then I'll wrap.
Nice, and there's my trophy. Nice. We now fast travel. Man, somebody's a far part. I'm not going to do this thing yet. I'm just—I want to save next to tails, so when we come and when we come back uh, tomorrow, we can kind of just immediately dive in. I will say, of the three islands, I don't think this one's as good as the desert island. I thought the desert island was like the best because it just had the absolute freedom. Then the starting island because of how it works, a good tutorial and introduction. And then this one. This one, it's, it is really cool and it's really big and really dynamic and there's a lot going on. But there's so much empty space that you have to deal with. Like you can't just get from here to here. You have to find the right path to get to this little space. You have to and all this stuff. Like it's a cool, more challenging area, but at the same time, boy, is it just that little bit more annoying as a result. But that will do for me. So I'm going to save. We're now about 12, nearly 12 hours into our playtime. But I'm going to call it here. So as always, thank you so so much for watching. Sonic Frontiers continues to be an absolute treat, even though I am figuring more things out as we go the lore and references and everything in between just really sells it and i really adore this game as always thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time take care now peace